then we live. So I think, yeah, so I think we should do a full voice production of Disco Inferno. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I think, okay, okay, in all seriousness, I think at Second. some point in the future, we should try and do a live dub of the Phoenix Wright anime. <laughs> Oh my god. I think it would be really yes. fucking funny. Um I but do we an abridged version, please, and thank you. We also need to um uh take a bunch of improv stuff. classes together. <laughs> I love I love us, but I think our improv could use some work. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. <laughs> I was actually in an improv club, thank you very much. Ren has taken a bold stance. The only thing I know about prop improv is yes and. That's it. What? I mean, that's the main thing you're supposed to know. That, I, all I know about improv is that when you're in the scene, you always have to yes and people. That's how you build good improv. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't just be like, I've no. I've done like a short course like over the weekend where I did improv. Well, you did? <laughs> and like... I was actually put into a scene where it was like, I remember this, the guy was like, the, the coach, the teacher, whatever his name is, he was just uh -huh. like, okay, I'm picking you two, and he picked me and this other girl, and he said, okay, so, you've got a boyfriend, and he pointed to the other girl, and you, and he pointed to me, you're her best friend, and her boyfriend cheated on her with you, <gasps> and I was like, no. And then he just stopped and he's like, you already look so guilty. <laughs> <laughs> the natural guilt. That? I was like, how could anyone do that to their friend? What the hell? And he was like, okay, so like. I hate to say it, to but my girl. father did this to my mother. <laughs> Ayy! <laughs> but he, um, that's so Oh. Yeah. Sometimes they're assholes. Like yeah. Yeah. Person. I still love my dad. Uh, but yeah. that was a that was a definite yikes from me. Um, oh, yeah. and everyone involved, oh, except for right, right. him and my stepmom. <laughs> I will say so. Red, finish your story, and I will say something about uh -oh. what I learned. My dad was an asshole. <laughs> okay, sure. My dad's also an asshole. Uh, we're on a we're on a club together. Oh yeah, we're all asshole dads. <laughs> um, and so like, uh, she was supposed to be putting out chairs as if she was like opening up a ca her cafe for opening or something. I don't know. And he said, okay, you're gonna walk in, and you're gonna apologize. And your goal for this entire set is to get her to talk to you, to actually like acknowledge you. And so I'm like, okay, so I'm literally just delivering a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, I walked in, and apparently it was supposed to be like this really sad, like awful thing. I had people laughing <laughs> <laughs> because apparently my comedy is good. <laughs> like apparently I was so awkward and earnest <laughs> oh. that I made it funny. <laughs> so like I literally walked in like, hey, uh. <laughs> so oh. and like I would sit down on the chairs that she was trying to put out. <laughs> and I could see that she was trying not to smile either. Oh. <laughs> like, oh. and, I, and I and I turned the story around. I turned the story around. I made it that like he was the one who tried to cheat on her, and that I wasn't willing. Good. Because <laughs> cool. I was like, I don't want any place in this. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I rescind your canon, sir. I changed it. <laughs> I revised it to make it better. Yes. Yes. Wait, sorry. I accidentally clicked on a Twitter thread about uh, how the original. You didn't listen uh, to my story kit. I did kind of dissociate. How dare you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I vaguely caught it. You were very funny. I <laughs> no, I was. My heart bleeds. I clicked I on a thread about Cowboy Bebop. 
Can you blame me? Have you How about it getting canceled? Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, I, here's what I can't tell is if it was canceled, like as in like cancel culture, like canceled, no, or no, if it got canceled. Oh, yeah. oh, they didn't even yeah, finish the entire canceled. series? <laughs> well, no. the entire the original series is 24 episodes. So exactly. Like, usual and average season on Netflix is probably around like 10. Well, no, but they're, they're typically, Netflix typically orders like 10 episode, um, like Jesus. hour long episodes. Um, yeah. so Cowboy Bebop was 24 episodes and they were like half an hour, technically like 20 minutes because they had commercial breaks and stuff, but. You know they're gonna milk it. You know. Well, I, yeah, and I think that it, they, they shot too far. Um, anyway. Oh. Uh, I smell my cat's litter box, so I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> that feel win. Very Wait, good. is Becca not here? They're, um, she's coming later. She said that like they're they're running late, but <clears throat> she'll probably just miss some of the talking in the, in the beginning. Oh, that was her. Okay, I thought that was Mac for some reason. Oh, Mac is here. <laughs> I know. That's why I was kind of like, oh, Mac came here. Um. <laughs> In a jiffy! That's cool! <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, she did. <laughs> Alright. Well. Oh, how is my mic? Also, I do love that reaction picture that you saved, Dren. <laughs> Y'all, I have. So funny. I have <laughs> 19 minutes left of the final episode of Maid. Ooh, uh, yeah, Kit, I unmuted, uh, the Twitch tab, and you're so fussy. Fuck! <laughs> like, Kit is How so How about fussy. now? How about now? Wait, I'm talking. Okay, my lag. I'm talking, and I really hope I'm not fuzzy. Oh, no, still, still fuzzy. Oh, Jesus. Still fuzzy. I- well, I don't know, is it my space heater that you're hearing? I just turned uh, it off. Okay, let me check again. Like, I'm so... Mm. Also, my fucking... No, Guys. It's so fuzzy. Like, here, when you're talking to us, it's not fuzzy, like, on Discord. Yeah. But then, on the stream, it is. Why is this? I don't understand you guys. You know what? 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 You what? You what, mate? What? 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 Uh, you got some fuzz in. Am I still mouth. fuzzy? Oh, let me check. I unplugged it completely. I don't hear any fuzz. You are less fuzzy. The oh. fuzziness is now very minimal. Is it so distracting as to detract from the experience? Uh no. <laughs> because I'm not okay. sure I'm not sure what I can do about it. Hi Thrifty! Am Hello. I fuzzy Thrifty? Hi. How are you? I think I've just abused my poor microphone into uh -huh. non compliance. How long have you had it? Yeah. I've had this since I was in college. Yeah. Yeah. Why? You know what? Let's let's look up best USB microphones. Show them to me. 2021 Tom's Guide. Great. Tom. <gasps> Becca! Oh, Becca! Becca! Oh. Blue Yeti. And it, it turns out the Blue Yeti is still number one. It is king. Oh, that can't be true. Hello. 
What? Do well, you have a blue yeti? I oh wait, no. Yeah, you don't. No, it. Uh, well, Tom. Tom's microphone or not Tom's microphones. Oh my god, Tom's uh, best of 2021 says uh, blue yetis at the top. This is for USB microphones. Let me specify. Um. I've just heard that they, I was thinking about a um, snowball, but then people online were like, oh, it doesn't last very long. I mean, what? Oh, no, not a snowball. This is a blue Yeti. Oh, so sorry. That, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Because what I have is a snowball. Um, it's lasted me for five years, but uh, I sound acceptable. Thanks. Thanks, Thrifty. We've been fighting fuzz. I think I've uh, abused my microphone too much. How much does a blue yeti cost? I bet it's like my arm and my leg. My leg. My leg. My arm. <laughs> my, leg. my arm. My arm. Hi, yeah, man. Why did you have to take mechanized legs and arms to pay for a new life? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? It was for the good of the stream. Oh, wait, it's only 130? That's Is way that less. What you think bad? the limbs was? <laughs> no, I, I was like. At least like 10 of those. With yeah, well, damn. I thought it was going to be way more than that. Although, I guess my snowball that I got in 2016 was like 50. So, I guess that makes sense. Hi, Maine. Hi, Maine. Hi, Maine. Maine! How are you doing? Uh... Okay, I think I, I... I... Yeah, congrats! I'm finally getting it! Actually, Maine came into chat last night and told me, so... Oh, hell yeah. Um... Oh! It also has... A headphone jack in it. Oh. So that there's no, like, latency. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay. I think I know what I'm getting after Christmas season is over. Maybe sooner, depending on if I get annoyed with having to fix the fuzziness uh, issues. I have a snowball and it's the best microphone because my friend gave it to me free. That's the best kind of anything. Generally. Yes. Is if you got it for free. Oh wait, but ba Becca, my dear, my dear little sister, how are you? Sorry, <laughs> I was staring. I was staring at microphones. I was dreaming of a better life. <laughs> uh, there must I'm be fine, Harry. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, my final finals are over. Um, Yay! the this comic I yes, uh, this comic that I commissioned for from a, for a scene of my fic was finished last night, and it's oh <laughs> hell yeah! Uh, yeah I'm making coffee. Amazing. It's very good. It's very very nice. nice. That's wonderful. <laughs> very nice. Yes. And everyone is reacting as I predicted. They. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> With utter um, sorrow and anguish, because the scene in particular was one of those, like, was one of like three scenes that I was like, yeah, this is gonna hurt people. <laughs> in, in, like, Listen, a good sometimes way. you gotta hurt the people. And need, yeah, and you need to immortalize it in images as well. I just imagine yeah. Becca sitting there at her laptop, like, uh, tapping her fingers <laughs> together, like, <laughs> Yeah, but, but listen, listen, that's literally, that was literally, this, this is from a scene that I wrote, like, months ago, but, like, that, that was me. That was me. And it was great. Um, it's, it's anyway, but yeah, that's, a that's been, uh, keeping, uh, because um, I, I got the comic, the finished comic last night, but I wanted to confirm with the artist that um, it was all right for me to post it on Tumblr. Um, I knew it would be because I've seen other people that have commissioned her post their stuff. Um, but like I wanted I wanted to have a paper trail that said, yes, this is OK. Mm. <laughs> So, um, so after I got the comic, um, I, like, uh, I, like, set up the whole Tumblr post and, like, I did the whole, like, hit, hit like, um, like, I had, like, a little, uh, I guess a snit, like, a, like, 
to I don't know what you would call it. I guess a snippet right bef like of the scene, you know? Like um uh, to be extra? like like right after Yeah, to be extra. <laughs> um and then and then I also had like the whole uh like thanks like here like um at this person like thank you for this and whatnot it's beautiful and whatnot and uh i had it in my drafts since last night <laughs> and i was just i i was essentially you know that one meme that's like your your <clears throat> life is ending 30 minutes from now and it's that one mm -hmm. cartoon character holding holding a like a hammer above like a house uh that was me um waiting to hit the post button since 11 o'clock last night when i got there. <laughs> <laughs> oh the pop team epic meme yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, I would like, and I, I like told I told a bunch of my friends who have also read my fic that like, yeah, I got I got the finished comic back, and I'm just waiting for confirmation that I posted. And all of them were like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I I felt I felt the physical embodiment of your life is gonna end 30 minutes from now. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have my finger on the trigger. <laughs> okay. Actually, I was on the opposite end of that a few days ago. My good, good, good friend, Monts, she commissioned beautiful fan art for me as a gift. Which was lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how she let me know that it was probably going to be posted soon, she's just like, tomorrow. Tomorrow. She just says it's tomorrow, and I'm like, okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> I, tomorrow. I can't believe you just reacted with like, okay. I'm okay. Like, like, I don't know. I'm sure it's something good, so I'm happy about it. Exactly. I want everyone to know that I did just order a Yeti microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mike has been giving you so many issues. I was like, I was like, listen, mm -hmm. I got PayPal credit. I can pay it off within six months. It's fine. You could, you could have at least told mom that so she could tell whoever has you for our secret Santa this year that you wanted a microphone. Come on. And make them pay one hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> also, I already know that it's Sasha who has me. Yes. So. <laughs> I mean, I did pay eighty dollars to get. Actually, I Sasha doesn't watch this shit. Don't worry. Um, I paid a. I paid eighty dollars to get Sasha a new um, uh, Joy Cons. They're colored. They're purple and orange. Ooh, cool. Hey, don't you guys have like a present limit in your family? Like, okay, you can. We get do, but. Everyone but ahead of yeah. I um, I had a good idea, yeah, and I was like, "Listen, I never have a good idea when it comes to Sasha." I was like, I, yeah. "I like as soon as I pulled Sasha's name, I was like, I know what Sasha wants, and that's a Joy-Con." Because we were just having a conversation about Joy-Con drift. So I was like, well, fuck, I'm getting a Sasha a Joy-Con no matter what. And I went online and they happened to be like $80. So I was like, I guess I'm spending $80 on the Secret Santa. <laughs> <laughs> but I have absolutely no system in our family when it comes to Christmas presents. I wish we had Secret Santa. That would make things so much easier. <laughs> We have, well, we set it up as a tradition in my family, and then COVID hit, so we haven't really been able to do it again, but it's basically a free-for-all with recommended max being $50 per gift, and we have them all in a pile, and then we do death battle for who gets what. Oh, wow. That's a weird white <laughs> elephant. <laughs> It's a weird white elephant. There's a lot of screaming. There's a lot of like, no, I wanted that. And it's a lot of fun. Because no Aww. one takes it seriously. <laughs> oh, okay. We tried something like that. Uh, I think it was last year. And it was sort of a disaster. Oh, no. Wait, did Becca did Becca and I tell you guys that we... Uh, um. Because I heard Becca saying, oh no, that we accidentally taught our <laughs> our baby sister 
<laughs> Our baby half sister is five, and she is Down syndrome, um, and she's kind of like just in the past year or so finally been getting into actually like trying to say things. Um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and we accidentally taught her to start singing the oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like we 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 would not we would not stop doing that during Thanksgiving and then we left and our stepsister messaged us and was like I hope you guys are happy you taught Jessica how to, oh how to sing the oh was no so song. I was like oh was fuck. So Wait, Which Mary, not great. denominational winter how... holiday. Have a tiny fraction towards your microphone purchase. Thank you, Thrifty. Aww. Thank you for the bits. Aww. I'm sorry if I talked through that. Let me, uh, I can, I can re- Actually, can I replay it? I don't know how to replay it anymore. Now that I don't have slobs, my life is a mess. Oh, all I can do is report. Damn. This stream is lacking an awful amount of clouds. Well, let's change that. Welcome to the stream, Cloudy. How are you? <laughs> oh, welcome, but I appreciate welcome. it. Welcome. I appreciate it, uh, Shannon. Also, what are you talking about? This sky in the picture is so cloudy. It's okay, you read it out loud anyways. <laughs> I'm doing great! We're about to get started with uh, Legally Bald. Um, Phoenix Wright, I mean. Where the bald is legal. Where none of us are legally bald anymore. It's really sad. I should probably fix that, but there's <laughs> not enough Maybe clouds. Someday. Maybe, someday. Maybe someday. I'm illegally, or half, I'm half bald. Yeah. Half, I, I'm half bald on my mother's you're, side. You're committing Becca's a misdemeanor instead of a felony. <laughs> That's what you're doing, Becca. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Those clouds have no personality. Uh, wrong. They're very oppressive. Illegally bald. <laughs> Bad personality. <laughs> Bad personality. I mean, wait, yeah, the wait, vibes before, are rancid. Before we start, can you guys give me a rundown of what happened in, like, the last half hour? After oh, you, like, God. I don't... Okay. <laughs> Run... Let's... Let's collectively go through stuff. a rundown of the Just case as we know it. Okay. Someone was murdered. Oh, yeah. Okay, there was someone murdered who actually yeah. turned out to be Maya and Mia's mom. Yes. yes. She. Bum, she. Bum. Oh, Cloudy, you've joined. We're about to play uh, Phoenix Ray Ace Attorney. Um. Uh, but game. but Ren. The last case of the last. Ren was uh, not here. We are going to court. Listen, uh, you don't have to be on trial. Um, fortunately, you are not. You can be in the peanut gallery. It's okay. You can eat popcorn up in the stands, and every time something dramatic happens, you can go, Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, but basically, um, no. basically, Red, it was, it was Morgan. <laughs> Morgan just basically made up a giant scheme to work with Dahlia, who actually, guess what? It turns out Morgan, as Morgan Fay, as well as being the mother of Pearl Fay, our little pearls. Yeah, yeah, uh, she's the mother of Iris and Dahlia. Yeah, she's the mother yeah. of Iris and Dahlia. Okay, you got that? And basically, she impla she got Pearl's a letter to her somehow because because Phoenix still lets Pearls visit her mom in solitary confinement. <laughs> Uh, and was able to convince her that she should try to channel Dahlia's spirit. Yes. What we learned was Pearls failed at that. She couldn't summon the spirit. She wasn't able to. But now we're still in this weird limbo space of we're back in court. Oh, we still don't know where Maya is. Well, we still haven't seen Maya. So we don't know what happened to her. We yeah, our our theory right now, parts. the game is the game is trying to tell us that she's still trapped in the shrine behind a bunch of locks. Um, we yeah, do not know if this is the case. Making 
horrible implications that she's not doing good, which sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and basically, our our mysteries left are um, who exactly killed um, Elise Donem? Or Missy Faye. Yeah. Um, who did... Uh, because we are assuming... Uh, I think we're making a big assumption, but I think it's a fair assumption. We're assuming that someone did channel Dahlia Hawthorne yet. We do not know who did that. Mm -hmm. um, or actually, no, that's not a big assumption. We know that because they saw Iris in two places, so it had to be her twin. So someone had to have channeled Dahlia in order for that to happen. Yes. So those are like the two big mysteries. Okay. Those are the big two mysteries, I think. Okay. Are we ready, though? Are we fucking yeah. ready for this? Oh, mm -hmm. I forgot this is a three-part trial. Yeah. Oh, three-part? <laughs> no. well, we're gonna try. We're That's gonna super try. cringe. Yeah. It's super cringe. Yeah, it's uh, super uh, fucking case. <laughs> it's so fucking cringe. I don't think I'm ready. Too late, Cloudy! Court is now in session! <laughs> It's not yet, but... I'm sharing the screen. Good morning! <laughs> oh, are you by yourself? Uh, yeah, morning pearls. <laughs> Miss Tundik, please tell me what's going on to happen in Mystic Mine. <laughs> the way your microphone cut out! <laughs> Mr. Nick Bitch! Like, it's like the same censored you. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Nick Bitch! I'm sorry. There we go. We don't know yet. The investigation is still going on, so I wasn't allowed into the inner temple. Oh, I see. So is Sister Iris still trying to remove those trick locks in the training hall? Oh god, I forgot she was trying to brute force it. Oh, yeah. no. She's the defendant in this case, so she can't be at the inner temple. Oh shit. She's required to be here in court. I like how you're reacting to it, like Phoenix is the one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I haven't done this for like three weeks? It's, uh, it's okay, Ren. She's um, annoying. Pearls is so cute. <gasps> we love yeah, Pearls. Oh, Take, it Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Locked and report it. Locked and report it. Um, then how come she's not here in the defendant's lobby? I have to admit, it's kind of strange. Listen, I'm acting as the audience's voice right now, so <laughs> I'm... Oh, who the hell is this? This is Edgeworth, probably. Oh, is it I though? My well, return, well, guys, it's like he's all here, I see. <gasps> Hi, Tess! Well, actually, Hi, I Tess! Tess. Welcome, hey. welcome! Tess, who do you think uh, is this mystery person saying this line here? Because I have Aren't no clue. Aren't we speedrunning this? Aren't we speedrunning? We, we are speedrunning <laughs> it, so someone read the goddamn line. I know it's not I me. I stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for Iris, she's in the prosecutor's lobby. Oh my god, you were right! I told you, I told you. Edgeworth. <laughs> a conniption. What's what's Iris doing over there? She's going over today's testimony with the prosecutor as we speak. Today's testimony. You heard me. <laughs> Iris is going to be testifying as a witness for the prosecution. Big oof on that one. Wait, what? <laughs> The prosecutor, the prosecutor is squeezing her for a confession, or so I heard. Well, the public probably... is grabbing her by the neck. I I I... <laughs> Maybe <laughs> someone should her. stop that. <laughs> Trying to wring her like a lemon, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say sponge, but okay. Francisca von Karma, what are you up to? She's so pretty. I know what you're thinking, but Francisca isn't going to be the prosecutor today. <gasps> what? Then who is? Who I mean, else would it yeah. be but Godot? Oh. We only know so many prosecutors. G Godot. Godot. 
Oh wow! Oh, I, I I I I could not tell <laughs> where that sentence was going. <laughs> Francisca is engaged. It's of important work at the sacred cavern. She is also <laughs> now a fiance. Francisca is You're engaged. engaged <laughs> it's of important work at the sacred cavern. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, no, you're right, Cloudy. That is Godot's personality. <laughs> I played through this recently, so they'd be cheating. Oh, true. Sacred Kevin? You don't mean that she's... Oh, and yeah, Cloudy, we're all doing the voices. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. These these are my lovely friends. Up in the... Oh, God. Up in that corner. Up in the god? We are. We are gods. You are gods. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, like oh, I mean, that's both their personalities. It's just different flavors. I don't know what Edgeworth's font is. His is, like, <laughs> much more fancy than that, probably. <laughs> yeah. He has been out there all night trying to remove those trick locks. With the head nun's assistance, naturally. We estimate that the last of the locks should be taken care of in about three hours. I hope everything continues to go smoothly and we receive some good news soon. Yeah. Thanks, Sedgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Godot intends to nail this case shut today. Be prepared to fight like there's no tomorrow. I always am. You know this, babe. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> Tuesday. I can already see it in your eyes. Windows to the soul. You're not the same fever-ridden frantic maniac you were yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. On the way here, I decided that today would be the end of all this. Almost immediately after I made that decision, I felt myself getting stronger. Interesting. Maybe you've passed your cold to someone else, literally. Was it you? No. And with that, <laughs> I leave the rest in your capable hands. Partner. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm doing the British accent, Cloudy. My name's Ren. Hello. Ren is Welcome. doing the British accent for Edgeworth. I mean, we say it's British. It's just posh Australian, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, true. Honest, I like this take. Americans do not know the difference. <laughs> yeah, I find it very hard <laughs> to dis. I'm gonna get a smoothie that I ordered. <gasps> oh, oh, exciting! Oh, the door. Oh. I'll be like back in like five minutes. Nice. Bye. Actually, I'm gonna take this opportunity to uh, get rid of the coffee filter and drink my coffee. So, the weather today. <laughs> uh, what's it like? Not... Yeah, what's it like for you, Becca? <laughs> Um, it was really rainy for most- for almost all of the journey, but then it let up as we got into Springfield- or, well, the, wherever, wherever I live. Wherever <laughs> <laughs> That's good that it let up, that way when you got out of the car, you wouldn't be, like, inundated. Yeah. It was- The urge to just reveal exactly where you live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, was it- earth. Matt, was it rainy around where you uh -huh. were? Yes. I Okay, uh, it said it was gonna rain, but... Right okay. Oh hell, everybody's getting their... getting their goods. Thanks. Bill, yeah, we're all I'm ready, ready to get settled me. in! I am back. Hi. back. <sighs> I got... a cup of coffee, black as midnight in a moonless night. Godot? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? What? <laughs> Today, the role of Godot will be played by Kit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay, but Godot stole that line from uh, Twin Peaks, is the thing. He blatantly stole it from <laughs> I mean, Twin Peaks. Did Godot really steal it? Was it like the yes! localization team that stole it? I mean, in the way that back. the localization team did everything, I guess. <laughs> Not the coffee! Yeah. Oh, yes, the coffee. Gotta have my coffee. You don't want to talk to me before my morning coffee. Oh, my coffee. God. 
It is not my morning. Okay, gotta get, gotta get back into Gudo mode. Gudo mode. Gudo. Guido. 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 Mode. Guido. No. Guido. I'm Rain is stopping Italian. briefly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, so I can't. <laughs> Rip. Oh my god! Squirtle Circle! <gasps> I forgot to say, my fucking landlord is still downstairs working away on the unit. I need him to leave. I need him to leave so that I can scream really insane shit at the top of lungs. At the top of lungs? <laughs> Did I show you all Half-Life Full-Life Consequences? I'm, I, I'm taking it, I have it, so we really need to change this soon. <laughs> I'm gonna send you all a video to watch on your own time. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. This is very old internet shit. This is like when, uh... Oh yeah, this shit was posted 13 years ago. Oh my God. Jesus. Yeah, this was baby YouTube. This was 2008. Can you believe it? This is what I did with my time on the internet back then. I'm gonna post this in oh the Discord. Public forum! I started actually watching YouTube. Exactly. I, w I, w I was an early adopter. So <laughs> Imagine if I actually had, uh, stonk. Stonks in YouTube? Yeah. But you were like 16 and back. couldn't get Hello. stonks. Welcome back! I mean, I was 14, and I guess technically I could not own a stonk, but... Oh yeah, you're, you're hmm. only slightly older than me, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were talking about stonks. I sent, I sent everyone an ancient uh, YouTube video from the storied year of 2008. Oh. Everyone remembers it for the financial <laughs> crash, but uh, I remember it as the year that Half-Life Full Life Consequences was released. Wow. And also the year that the housing bubble crashed. Anyway, I still don't have answers for most of the riddles plaguing this case. Yeah, we, we really do not know shit. The circumstances around the murder of Ms. Elise Donim. Uh, no, I mean Ms. Misty Fay. The impossible flight Larry se claims to have seen. I still posit that at some point we're going to learn that she was falling off the bridge. Um... Not flying. And what that woman is really she, after. My, my question Revenge. about the falling off the bridge thing is like, how, how would they have gotten her back? I don't know. Well, we don't know who <laughs> fell off the bridge. Gotcha, okay. We do still have I mean, a party missing. So. Oh, I, right. I can't remember. I cannot remember for the life of me um, where Maya is or what she's doing. I just know that spoiler alert, she survives this whole mess, so... <laughs> Excuse you! What? She's... Some of us have not... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's pretty, like, no shit. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> they would not kill Maya. They would not they kill Maya. Not. What I am I... I think I remember what happens with that. And it's... If, I, if I'm remembering correctly, it's the funniest shit. <laughs> oh wait okay i i okay i have a vague recollection but i'm gonna save my speculation what that woman is really after and what she's hiding in her hair all, all these years i will solve them all and bring this whole tragedy to an end bold words bold fucking words for a man who knows words. shit he knows shit! February 10th. This is when it all goes down. Oh my god! Oh, he's back! He's back! 
Court is now in session for the trial of Iris of Hazakuta Temple. My boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey now, oh, hey no. now, oh. Oh, <laughs> Um, bitch, your honor? <laughs> what are you? Who? Me? What are well, you? Well, my little brother came to visit me in my chambers earlier this morning. All of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, he developed a scorching fever and fainted. I, I killed a man! <laughs> Fuck! Therefore, I'll be standing in for him. Uh, I see, bitch, your honor. So they're brothers. That explains a lot. Actually, it doesn't. Why is one Canadian <laughs> and the no other questions. normal? Yes. <laughs> Those are My the two. Poor brother. The two options. You can be Canadian or you can be normal. <laughs> sorry to all Canadians in the audience. I'm so sorry to Thrifty <laughs> specifically. Um. <laughs> My poor brother. He looked a bit pale, not to mention sad that he couldn't be here. <laughs> Who? Who slides these to you? I have to Me. know. <laughs> Me. <laughs> it's a, it is impossible to predict what the future has in store for any of us. This is precisely why people feel the need to judge the past. If you take a left judge? down the corridor, you'll find the English classroom. Mm -hmm. Eve used that joke far too many times. I know, but it's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> and we of the court have been charged with the solemn duty of passing such judgment. Uh, well said, Mr. Kado. I'm sorry, it's just all I can think of every single time he opens his mouth. It's, I'm no! so sorry. That's fair. No, that's fair. That's yeah. valid. I understand exactly what you said. Um, <laughs> at least up until the end, anyway. Good job. Now then, Mr. Godot, please proceed with your opening statement. <laughs> God <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> Guys, I need to get through this fucking life. Too Too late! <laughs> <laughs> His entire existence is a joke! Know. Like, I don't know what you want from me! <laughs> okay, okay, breathe in. <sighs> See, we have okay, to get okay. the English class jokes out now so that we can proceed <laughs> later on. We have to, like, front load them all. <laughs> yeah. Humans are fragile, fickle beings. Our hearts change, lifting of the tides. There's only one thing that remains a constant in this crazy world. The bitter darkness that lies at the bottom of this mud. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I'm about to say coffee. I thought you were gonna say to... I literally <laughs> thought he was gonna yeah. say death. <laughs> okay, so, oh. well, the only truth in life is coffee and death. <laughs> Except when it's oh. not in It's my taxes case. and death, bitch, but okay. Go off. <laughs> so then you mean... Um, for, forget it. What do you mean? <laughs> During yesterday's trial, the accused refused to admit her role in the crime. But today, she has had a change of heart. Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple has a confession to make. Oh? Confession? The, the defendant? Iris. Why didn't she discuss this with me first? Or is this Iris? Ooh. Very well. Mm -hmm. This court will now hear the defendant's confession. Spicy take there, Ren. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I, I don't she... think so there. <laughs> Upon meeting a beautiful lady... Always ask for her name and profession. Uh, I what? <laughs> one of my roles. I you really her Francisca shit. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> you did what kind of She's a pretty lady, she... not a beautiful lady. <laughs> she's a pretty lady and she's also a horse curl. I'm not into that. <laughs> God. Um my name is Iris. I am but a simple nun undergoing training at Hazakura Temple. 
Witness, is there something that you want to confess to? Like, come on. Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but first... <laughs> sorry. Uh, but My first, pronouns are mystic. Oh, it. wait, you said the line. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't continue lying to everyone anymore. Uh, it's all right. What is it? You're right. I have to admit that I... I did play a part in this terrible incident. Okay, we kind of figured this. Uh, are you actually confessing? Not That's what I say. Thing. Are you saying that you were the one who murdered Miss Elise Onim? No. <laughs> it's your honor. But I dealt with the cover-up after the murder took place. After her spirit left, I took the lifeless shell of Mystic Elise and carried it to the Hazakura Temple courtyard where I desecrated it. What? Okay, that is actually a crime in some places. Order in the court. Order. But only if they actually choose to charge you with it, I guess. Mm. Witness, are you... Are you saying you were an accomplice to murder? I don't think she was an accomplice to it. She did, like, no, mess no, around no. with the oh. corpse. I mean, oh. uh, being, being a part of the cover-up, I would, you know... Well, that's, like, tampering with evidence. That's not like the I same guess, as being an accomplice. I yeah. It okay. is like you I mean like a normal person who's not involved in the crime would be like, oh, there's been a crime. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I that's it's true. Very, as it's very circumstantial, I guess. Yeah, like to in order to be an accomplice, you would have to prove which we might get to, but you would have to prove that she was involved with the planning and execution of like the the crime itself, which was the murder in this case. Mm -hmm. um, like, was she texting with people like, "Ha ha, can't wait to kill this person with you and help you cover it up" or whatever? Then I think you could prove that she was an accomplice. But anyway, yeah, I'm not a lawyer. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> what? <laughs> Three minutes in court and I'm already covered in a cold sweat. <laughs> Everyone on the planet is an accomplice to something. What? I mean, what? It just... Sure. <laughs> okay, that really is a uh, bullshitting English. What? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, we, we all we all contribute to something in this world. Sure, if that's what you fucking mean by that. Like, it just so happens to be that in this case, it's to murder. Okay, I don't. I, I wasn't Cheers, I guess. Isn't that right, Mr. Trite? Oh. I would really love to know what he calls him in the, um, the Japanese. Grr, that Goto! Oh. So this is the confession they were conferring about. Pains me to say this, but it looks like Iris' testimony was all a lie. Pulled up and shoved into a pocket. <laughs> he really said. He well. really said. Bro really said. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm. I'm angry. <laughs> don't talk to me. I'm angry. <laughs> now then, little lady, if you don't mind, I've got a question for you. Whose crime were you trying to cover up by your actions? Iris Yours. was covering oh. for someone? I mean, that is kind of what she's saying. Ugh. You know, I'm definitely up the creek without a paddle. Or a life jacket. Hasn't stopped you before, bitch. I've been at Hasakura Temple ever Sorry. You're I've been at Hasakura Temple ever since I was a little girl. Hasakura Temple is run by one of the branch families of the Kurain tradition. One of our missions is to protect the main family. I'm sorry, but, uh, main family? <laughs> yes, Main's family? Would... <laughs> the main six, of course. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, and that's why I would dirty myself, if need be, to protect her. The daughter of the master of the Kurain channeling technique. 
Mystic <gasps> Maya Fey. Excuse me. Uh huh. Wake up and smell the coffee, trite. I really hoped he was gonna do a spit take. <laughs> I hope so too. What the fuck? Gazelle, She's naming Maya. <laughs> Order! Uh, order in the court! Yo, your vibes are so rancid! Mm-hmm. <laughs> so not only did you witness the murder, you know the name of the murderer! I'm terribly sorry, but it's true. I saw her commit the crime with my very own eyes. Hmm. And then I cleaned up the area to try to protect her. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! This is so Th sus. That's ridiculous! Maya could never do such a- the defense will refrain from commenting until the appropriate time. Bitch. <laughs> now, witness, let's hear your testimony. Was that not my She's talking about my little sister. What exactly happened on the night of the crime? Yes, bitch, your honor. I thought I was prepared for the unexpected, but I never imagined the case would wind up going this direction. I went to the inner temple that night, and I saw it all happen in the garden. <laughs> Ren literally sitting here like, oh. <laughs> I'm literally like, wow. This is spicy. <laughs> Queen! Queen! Yeah. Like, so many five feet apart, because they're not gay. I don't think I paid for over 50% of these subs macron backslash underscore underscore slash macron. <laughs> the way it spelled out the entire emoticon! I don't think I paid for over 50% of these subs. That's how it goes on this bitch of a website. Thank you so much for the resub, Thrifty. Sub for six months total. We love to see it. Also, hi, Queen. Queen, did you know we have, we have, we have a... We have a command for what you were what you were doing there. Objection! You can just scream objection at us. How are you? Thank you again so much for the sub thrifty. I'm so sorry, I Iris, continue. Twitch got in the way. I saw a mystic elite Two strike bros mystic Ma Maya in the with her staff. Five feet apart because they're not gay. Oh Mac, Hello? thank you for this gifted sub. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's okay. No, it's fine. A hype train we is close. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. No, 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 no. I meant us on the Discord can't hear it because we Oh, yeah. right, yeah. You, we so we don't know when it's happening. That's and fine. So we're likely going to talk over it without realizing. So yeah. sorry about that. No, you're all good. Five feet apart, sad because they're not gay. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Mac. No problem. Oh my god. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no um, problem. We're close to a hype train. Fuck. Ooh. <gasps> Ew. All I want for Whoa. Christmas is a hype Ew. train. It's ew. Okay, wait. <laughs> back on task. Back on task. <laughs> Come through scam trains. <laughs> What's a scam train? Hold up. I just took a bite of pizza. Good job. <laughs> Advertise us in the name of Jeff Bozo. Please do. Give us the Jeff Bozo bucks. Give us the Jeff Bozo bucks. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting uwu too, which is why I said uwu the first time. <laughs> All I want for Christmas yeah. is a hype train, it's so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anyway. <laughs> While Mystic Maya was still stumbling, Mystic Elise moved in to deliver a fatal strike. Mystic Maya tried desperately to defend herself and stole the weapon. <clears throat> It was only in self-defense. You can't blame her for it. Hmm. Uh, uh. So it was in self-defense. Love you, bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna never stop loving you, bitch. Mr. Nick, this shit had less than three. 
<laughs> Mr. Nick bitch head <laughs> less, shit head less than three. <laughs> but but you and Uwu rhyme. I mean that is true. That is true. I too poor. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's okay, Queen. Your presence is a gift enough. <gasps> so it was in self defense. Also, thank yes. you for the bits, Ren. <laughs> you welcome. Also, yes. <laughs> Mr. Gildes was the one who attacked first. Hmm. 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 That's why I tried my best to protect Mystic Maya. I moved the victim's body to the temple so that Maya wouldn't be suspected. Isn't that right? Not bad. You've got the instincts of a true criminal. No, she's just smart. Something's not quite right. I'm sure it was established yesterday that Iris never went to the inner temple that night. And that the person who did go was that woman. That woman! <laughs> Iris even admitted it. Now then, Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. I'm rem- I remember I I had the urge to sniffle for a second, and then I remembered I forgot to tell you all that I had a monster nosebleed earlier this day, where oh um. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. fine. It always happens to me around this time of year uh, when it gets dry outside, but it's like one of oh, those okay. ones where I was just like hunched over my bathtub, <laughs> waiting for it oh, to no. stop. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate those ones. And I, I was like, and I, I felt the urge to snuffle because of the nostril that was bleeding. And I was like, oh god, what if I accidentally got another nosebleed on stream? And I feel like I'm jinxing myself now. I don't knock want that to wood. happen. Fucking knock on wood. I do not want to have to go to the uh, urgent care. Okay. Um, I, I went. I had a nosebleed once. Horny on stream. Every time I see Iris, um, my my nose starts to bleed uncontrollably. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix plays the pronoun game so hard. <laughs> we have my pronoun game. <laughs> Wait, do you mean the game where you try not to use somebody's pronouns? <laughs> I'm going um, to create a sentence that is so devoid of pronouns. Pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I went to the inner temple and I saw it all happen in the garden. Mystic Elise strike Mystic Maya with her- I'm gonna press on that. You're saying that the victim attacked Maya? Uh, I mean, Ms. Faye? I hate this game! <laughs> Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I also hate this game. Why are you playing this? <laughs> you you look like you have blue hair and no one ever again. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine not using pronouns. Couldn't be me. I don't have any pronouns. <laughs> I will respect you as best I can. <laughs> you there. <laughs> no, yes. you! That's a pronoun! <laughs> you slash there! You uh, slash there! <laughs> Those are my pronouns! You slash there! <laughs> <laughs> Only refer to me like we are in a first aid class and you were telling me to call 911. <laughs> you there! In the red sweater! Call 911! <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yes, it was a truly frightening scene. Mystic Maya was struck hard on the head and looked like she was going to collapse. What were you doing at that time? <laughs> <laughs> As a cis white hat dom mass top daddy, I have no pronouns, it's too queer. queer. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> My pronoun is misogyny. Misogyny. <laughs> Why didn't you stop them from fighting? 
<laughs> what the fuck? Well, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Why didn't you get between the deadly f the fight to the death? <laughs> yeah. Why did you not throw yourself between the unstoppable uh, force and unmovable object? <laughs> Why did you not throw yourself between them like he does in Jurassic World 1? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I was... I was frightened. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I was in such shock. <laughs> Why did you take the bullet instead? We like you less! <laughs> move to dismiss the witness! Witness is a sack of shit! <laughs> Didn't even stop a murder in progress, shaking my damn head! <laughs> Actually, that's perfectly understandable, my dear. <laughs> this doesn't sound right. I don't the believe this testimony about for a minute. Herself in danger. <laughs> yeah. Because her self-esteem is that low. What happened Literally. after that? Well, okay, here What what kind of evidence do we have? Cuz like Okay. Um I was just thinking horrible. <laughs> It really isn't oh. that bad, you know? <laughs> well, okay. Starting at, listen, listen. I, Wait, what? I know how we all feel. I know how we all feel about Larry and whatnot, but like his sketch isn't that bad. It's, it's not know? that bad. It's not. It's it's literally not. Literally uh, starting out. As an artist, it would literally be like, dude, you have a great sense of color. Yeah, like yeah, keep so keep so going down the road. Like, you're going down. It's and, not like, yeah, terrible. He, like, it's not horrible. <laughs> They're all just mean. <laughs> um, uh, so <laughs> what I is just a little bitch. <laughs> what I was thinking just now was like, um, I don't that that exchange that we just had where it was like, why didn't you try and stop them? Um, that does kind of feel contradictory in the fact, but it's contradictory in her own testimony where she was like, um, our, our whole thing is to protect the main family. Like, we would never, yeah. um, like, like, I would solely myself to, to make sure, um, she is a, a, a chance to continue on. Um, so in that sense, it's like, okay, but then why, like, if you believe that so, so yeah. much, why then it budget? seems strange yeah. that you didn't try and intervene. Um, unless she knew that it was an act... I, I, I'm, I'm thinking unless she's lying that it was Mystic Maya being, uh, being hit. Yeah. Or that she knew Mystic Elise was the master of crying. I guess that could also make some fucked up sense, right? Like she's the current master. If she knew they were, if they, if she knew that they were both of the main family, she'd be like, "Oh God, how do I?" Yeah, like, like ah, does, that does that compute? I'm not meant for this programming. Yeah, like, <laughs> I never prepared for this situation. <laughs> Time to run some more simulations. Um. Okay, let's press this. She moved in to deliver a fatal strike? Yes, I'm sure of it. She threw down her staff and reached into her robe for a weapon. Uh, hold on! Uh... What? Wait a minute! What was this weapon? It, it, it was... some kind of dagger. A dagger, huh? And Elise Donem tried to stab her with this weapon. To kill Ms. Faye? Yes, exactly. Okay, I think this is where we're getting into some shit. Mm -hmm. huh. <clears throat> because we know about the secret cane sword! And no one else does! But yep. we made a promise to Gumshoe not to talk about it. No, okay, we did that for a reason. The reason Phoenix wanted to do that was so that he could be sure that there were the only the two of them that knew and whoever like owned this like whoever else drew right like there's a situation yeah. where you can catch someone on that lie right like here like why would if it, if it was 
uh, Mystic Elise's um, cane sword, why would she throw down her weapon to grab a different one to attack a defenseless person, right? Like, that's where it's like, uh. Also, can we talk about this? Sir, have you done this before? Can I- Sir! I need to say the line first for this epic- I know! Go ahead! (laughs) Because what the fuck? You look like I did after I mistakenly took a swig of Worcester sauce. It's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. We'll be here all day. I, I'm just saying, it's wor- it's Worcestershire sauce. The dark, the sauce, the sauce, the, so- the sauce. <laughs> Godot got lost in the sauce. Godot, we already knew Godot was lost in the sauce. Listen, if I drink Worcestershire sauce, I die. Me too. I would simply stop existing. I never said it was a knife trope. <laughs> with the testimony you're hearing from your client, lawyer boy? Yeah, I do! Do I have a problem I'll with Iris' testimony? Boy. There is one thing. Uh, don't call me that. Would you like to know, lawyer boy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, pitch your honor. I have a small problem with the witness's testimony. Y- you do? This witness is your own client. Yeah, she's also narking on my little sister for no reason, so. <laughs> and nevertheless. That's fine. Witness, let's add your last statement to the testimony. Thank you. How kind Thank of you. you. Y- yes, sir. H- hey, j- just a moment. It's my <laughs> job to say that. <laughs> Listen, Gramps, I won't say it again. Final judgment <laughs> will be rendered by me. Oh, literally, you are not the judge in this case. <laughs> Has that stopped any prosecutors so far? Except for well, me. It should! <laughs> Admit it, yeah, yeah. Admittedly, no other prosecutor has tried to be like, no, I'm not going to listen to the judge. I mean, they've like bullied him, but like. No, but they, <laughs> they've been like <laughs> silence bottom and like. Yeah. You know, have f- f- like injured him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Let's <laughs> you. Oh! Thanks. Okay, um, literally, uh, sounds fake. Yeah, sounds fake, but okay. Sounds ca- sounds fake, but not okay. Sister Iris, <laughs> there's something strange about your version of events. Uh-huh. Ms. Jonim throwing her staff away makes no sense at all to me. But you all, you, all you can do with the staff is hit someone. Can I also remark that you could fatally kill someone with, like, a heavy you enough staff? Someone with that. Like, that's like a whole ass crystal on the end. You could definitely crush somebody's skull with that. Even if you're not terribly uh, strong. Like, yeah. Gravity, yo. Come on. Momentum. Naturally, you wouldn't know this, Sister Iris, but the victim's staff had a special feature about it. As you can see, I now have a sword! (laughs) Give Phoenix Wright a sword! (laughs) Maybe when they eventually finally invite him to to Smash Brothers. If Elise Donim really (laughs) had wanted to kill Maya Faye, she wouldn't have needed to use a separate dagger. Not when she already had a beautiful blade in her hands already. I'm complimenting this. I like it a lot. I'm taking it home. Well, Sister Iris, what do you have to say? Uh, uh, I... Objection. That was an impressive bit of investigating. Right. If you bonk someone hard enough to knock them unconscious, it can easily be fatal. This is my number one qualm with movies and video games, where the video game is like, oh, you get moral extra points if you just knock people unconscious by bonking them on the head. It's like, no, they're probably no. gonna die, actually. Just like, a not That's right now. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna make them have a he- brain hemorrhage. Just once I want to see his coffee mug slide off the bench before he catches. <laughs> I think that 
that would have been a really funny like I do I do really like um his like oops moment like emote uh being like uh the spit take um that's really funny but I think it would also be really funny um if that was also like an extra one that they just did like every once in a while just like sprinkle it in there Never would have thought there was a sword hidden in that staff. But even so, how should I put this? It doesn't make... it doesn't change anything. True shit. As long sword is unwieldy, and thus quite ineffective in close quarters combat. Maybe that's why she chose a dagger over her blade. Um, well... I am saying the madam could have dual wielded bitch. <laughs> anyway, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what is important. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. Did I go down a rabbit hole? But there is something strange about this whole testimony. I mean, the fact that she's her mom. Yep. Well, Mr. Yeah. Wright. The prosecution has a point. Very well, bitch, Your Honor. The defense will it's now present bluff. evidence to back its argument. It's her right. I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't be trusted. Because Ms. Elise Donim would never attempt to take the life of Maya Fey. Um, Her's is family. it listed on her? Oh, yeah. I'm going to yep. present her profile. Lise Donim would never have attacked Maya Fey. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's <clears throat> real name was not Elise Donim. Her real name was Misty Fey. Fey? Ah, no, not Mystic, Mi Mystic Misty Fey. Oh, okay, who is this Misty Fey? Is she related to. We, re we literally only know one Fey family. Mm -hmm. Misty Fay is the master of the Kurine channeling technique. She is also the mother of Maya Fay. Uh, are you serious? Dead. The newspapers are exploding. <laughs> <laughs> is it really true, Mr. Wright? <clears throat> Was Elise Stonem actually the great Mystic Misty? Mm-hmm. There's no doubt about it. It looks like Iris had no idea. I can hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her only daughter, one she hadn't seen in 17 years. Perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing. <laughs> Phoenix shot his invisible gun. Pew pew! <laughs> it was super effective. Order. Order in the court. Upon first hearing the witness's testimony, it seemed natural enough. However, in light of some facts that have just been presented... You guys still have a fax machine? And because of this fax I, I just received, <laughs> one, that said that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight, and two, that the two people battling to the death were mother and daughter, Despite the facts being believable when taken on their own, when taken together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that is impossible. There are a lot of things, actually. <laughs> Except for one little thing. Yes? What is this one little impossible thing? <laughs> you still don't get it. He asked you kindly. Please help. You think maybe my beans are under roasted? You have no idea, Gramps. I really don't care to know the status of your beans, Ghetto. <laughs> um, could you get to your point? I heard this witness's confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of morning coffee. Get this man some help. How is he not, Please. like, vibrating out of the courtroom at, like, ten times the speed of the <laughs> Like... <laughs> You're going to ruin your health, my friend. 
<laughs> it's already ruined. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate Aww. sent to the scene of the crime. And he discovered this little beauty. Is that the dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, your bitch, your honor. Do you not notice something else? Obviously. Well, now that you mention it, if you look closely, there appears to be blood on it. <laughs> my, <I'm laughs> my question is, why did we not find this at the scene of the crime? Very interesting. Where did you find that? I didn't see that when I investigated the crime scene. I love how Phoenix and I are just on the same wavelength all the time. <laughs> same, same person. Did you investigate the pine tree? At the crime scene. Huh? The pine tree? The pine tree. <laughs> this dagger was stuck in the backside of the pine tree. Damn it! Our <laughs> limited perspective <laughs> fucked us over! <laughs> I've been telling them this is why we need the budget for a 3D game, but no! <laughs> Shaking my also, damn head. Pine, pine tree? Yeah, no, that's a type of pine. Yeah, it is a pine tree. It is. It's like an evergreen. It? Yeah, it's okay. it's like a it's like a weird. Um, actually, it's not weird. It's just like a uh one that's like more commonly found in like Asia. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's like an evergreen. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women. This little baby was thrown in the direction of the back of the pine tree. What? <laughs> Which means the blood on the dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Uh. <laughs> Are you even listening, old man? I first heard this confession this morning. As I had taken the first <laughs> You just switched it! It was eight! Yeah. You've added five more! <laughs> How are you alive? <laughs> He's speedrunning this shit. Uh, yeah. The morning coffee. <laughs> How to speedrun a heart attack. Uh, also probably pruned and coaxed into that shape like Bonza. Yeah, that's- it's yeah. definitely pruned to get it to be that shape, that's but- That's why- also, murder That's why family. I was like- yeah. That's why I was like, uh, <laughs> pine tree? It looks like a bonsai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you as of a lot of different trees into bonsai. Yeah. That's fair. It's just like a technique. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah. Uh as though the Fey family isn't notorious for murdering each other for power. Sure, it's usually branch members trying to kill main families, but also murder family. That's true, but Godot hasn't brought that up yet. Didn't you say it was your eighth just a few minutes ago? <laughs> I didn't have enough time to get the blood analyzed on such short notice. Your own? For In any case. Well, hold on. Uh, it might just be ketchup. Hold, just just <laughs> let, let me look. <laughs> oh, oh my, you judge! No! Oh, well. <laughs> In <Judge>. any case, <laughs> the court will accept the dagger as evidence of very nasty ketchup. Furthermore, I order that a blood test will be performed on it immediately. Okay. No, just, just like, let me check, and then goes to lick it. <laughs> it's a very, like, um, have y'all ever played Detroit Become Human? Yes. Oh. <laughs> like yeah. Connor? <laughs> yeah, literally the Connor just licking blood up. <laughs> oh, lord. Oh my god, I forgot that was part of that game. What? I forgot that was part of that game. That was something oh, that yeah. happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is my sweetheart. Make sure you treat her right. You are so weird. Why, God. why, why are you like this? <laughs> I, I, I thought he was. I have been in a coma for three years. So you develop no an excuse. attachment to murder weapons. I thought yes. he was going to say, "Bailiff, get this piece of shit out of this courtroom immediately." <laughs> <laughs> Bailiff, get this piece of shit to the crime lab for testing immediately. <laughs> 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 oh, God. We need to find out how much of his body is made up of coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now then. 
The testimony we've just heard had numerous unbelievable aspects to it. However, after having found the very dagger the witness spoke of, I believe we can consider her testimony to be credible. What? Well, no. These girls never <laughs> lie. Ever. She already did! <laughs> She's lying right now, and if That's you believe how to do. if you believe she isn't lying right now, she already lied because she gave testimony to the contrary prior to this. Oh no my God! He is not aware of himself. Witness, if you could please testify again to this court. Um, about that, about what? Uh, bitch, your honor. <laughs> bitch, what the fuck do you want me to say? <laughs> About the incident you saw. The battle between the two women. He wants it described in great detail. Is this a fetish thing? Probably. <laughs> order! Order! Wait, <laughs> There's no kink shaming in the court. Bop sending you to horny jail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bitch, your honor. I almost choked on my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> now like you're really you're really making me want to make popcorn on the break here soon. Like <laughs> counterpoint, Godot. I'm cute and I've lied. Checkmate. Not cute. Checkmate libs. Victor, you are correct. <laughs> yeah. Um. We're all cute, y'all. And we've all I make, lied. <laughs> I make the best popcorn imaginable because i cooked some bacon a uh, week or two ago and i was smart and i saved the uh the rendered fat in a jar and i put it in the fridge wow. so now what Ooh. i've done with my popcorn because i have an air popper um so like i add butter to it after the fact I, uh, I replace like a tablespoon or two of the butter that I would normally put on the popcorn with the bacon fat. Um, and I melt that down and mix it together with the butter and then put it on top. And oh my god, is that the best shit? It's the best <laughs> shit ever. Like, everyone needs to save your bacon fat. If you're cooking bacon, you need to save the bacon fat. 100%. Yes, we have a baking grease jar at home. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you cook bacon on the nice. regular, save it. My um, my mom said that actually her grandma just like constantly had like a can of like an empty coffee grounds can that she kept by the stove that she would just pour the fat off into whenever she like cooked bacon for breakfast and then would just like use that fat um, like all the time for like frying and cooking and stuff like that. It's good. It's good. good anyway. Idea. Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. But then she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. Okay. Suddenly, Mystic Elise was the one on the defensive, with her back to the stone lantern. That's when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then... Then... She collapsed. Mm. That was a very heartbreaking story. I don't know if there were any bad feelings between them, but... It had been 17 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Perhaps they simply didn't recognize each other anymore. I'm remembering something that I think... ...solves everything. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> hmm. That seems reasonable. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. I shall. Okay. Stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. She dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. On the defensive with her back to the stone lantern. Actually, let me... Do we have a picture of... 
Oh no, that's the other courtyard. And that's the tracks. I was wondering if we had a picture of the garden to refer back to. Yeah, but um, I don't think we do. Yeah. Um, not, well, not yet. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. They show it to us. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's when Mystic Maya Where's... stabbed Mystic Elise. Where's the tree? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, hovering over them. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, then she collapsed. <gasps> no, she didn't. There's, like, writing on that... We don't have that yet. We don't have that yet? We do have something. I'm just taking a look at everything that we have. I need to remind myself what's here. Once night falls, should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit. Leave everything up to her. Her name is Blink. She is our... something. The whole Blink. Here's a picture of her. Use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is Blink... Burn the... Tell anyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master in the fire of the Okay. I don't know if that stuff is important. I'm gonna press this really quick. Where did that dagger go? Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I have no idea. It was dark and I couldn't see. According to the detective who found the dagger, it was stuck into the pine tree in the garden. Most likely it was flung towards the tree after the struggle. That is the most likely explanation, yes. After being stabbed in the stomach, did the victim collapse right away? Now that I think of it... She seemed to stare at Mystic Maya for a while. And Mystic Maya stood there, not moving an inch. Mm. So for a moment, like, time had just stopped. Hmm... But then, suddenly, as if the spell had worn off, Mystic Elise fell over. It seems like a reasonable story at first, but there's one thing that is completely impossible. The very idea of Maya stabbing someone. That alone is impossible, which means, to be honest, Phoenix, you are also a biased party, but we also know yeah. she would not. Yes, <laughs> <bias>. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I do say be gay, do crime a lot, so... Yeah, but you mean, like, petty theft and <laughs> vandalism, not <laughs> murder. Not murder. <laughs> or <laughs> matricide. <laughs> this faulty testimony must contain another contradiction in it somewhere. The hee-hee. The hee-hee. What is the... Like autopsy report say? Updated. Quiet <laughs> <laughs> you. Go. Fuck! Let it go. Oh, Mac! You're a fucking genius. Oh, Lots of yeah. blood from stab oh, in the back! Okay. I fell ten feet. Let the body With her back to the lantern. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try presenting it here. Um, I don't know if it's on this one or the previous one, but I'm gonna present it here. Um, because we have the picture. Oh, not back! Present! God, I hate this. Objection! 
<laughs> Something about you just right. isn't right today, Iris. I was thinking the same thing. Huh? Until now, I didn't think you were the type to make such a careless mistake. However, the testimony you just gave contains quite a few contradictions. What do you mean? What's so wrong about my testimony? According, according to you. <laughs> oh God, I don't remember song. the rest of that song. <laughs> oh my God. Please put that time capsule away. It is oh, unlocking yeah, cringe memories. Uh, oh uh, no! Bury it, burn it, toss it into the river. <laughs> God, a fucking song. You're welcome. <laughs> Maya face stabbed the victim while she had her back to the stone lantern, correct? E yes, that's right. <laughs> Becca! <laughs> <laughs> but in that case, the victim would have been stabbed in the stomach, right? Yes, I think so. But, according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was due to blood loss from a stab wound in her back. Ah! <laughs> this proves that the victim was stabbed from behind, not from the front! <laughs> Sister Iris, uh. it appears another seed of doubt has sprouted from your testimony. Ooh, now I'm getting, like, metaphorical. It's a garden. Uh-huh. Oh, whatever. We are in the garden of truth and lies. <laughs> what? What is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Well, I was a theater kid. Huh. Oh. It's simple. He's a theater kid. <laughs> <laughs> Said the <laughs> English Let kid. <laughs> Let me finish. I am an English major, not oh. a theater major. It's different. <laughs> is it? It's not. It's not. It's really not. It's like, because I was trying to make it different. <laughs> <laughs> only, 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 only a theater, or rather, an English major would try and differentiate themselves from a theater, <laughs> from a theater major, even though they're the same type of person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh it's my like god! Like grasping straws at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are like books. There's a top and a bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you get my drift. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that gave me psychic damage. Uh, is that dumb shit all you had to say? Can <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> speak the normal? Loves to play with the human mind. What the fuck does that you mean? Can say Objection! That. <laughs> Can you please knock it off with the cheesy proverbs and illogical metaphors already? I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, too much of this testimony just doesn't make sense. Throwing away a useful staff, the people fighting being mother and daughter, and now she falsely claims the victim was stabbed in the stomach. Hmm. There certainly are some inconsistencies. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the weakest shit. That's like when the that's like when the newspaper reports that like uh, the uh, not that the police murdered somebody, but that somebody was killed. Um, by bullets fired from the gun of yeah. a police officer, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> there were mm -hmm. some inconsistencies. Yeah, no, it was all a lie. Well, Iris, how about it? I'm done playing softball. Well, We're playing hardball just... now. You're just mean to you naive about the whole thing. We're using facts. What do you mean, bitch? I've provided evidence. You've given shit. I brought the dagger, bitch. Oh my I, god. Again. There are 253 distinct types of bitterness in coffee. What the fuck is this? To pick out each one requires total concentration in the use of all the senses. <laughs> and as you notice, some of them are pretty dim in this department. Are you really concentrating on what this witness actually said? Me too, There's Becca. A special interest in everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh. P -p -p Prosecutor Gato, please explain. I'm did, confused. Did you almost call him Professor? <laughs> 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 
I heard that Please slip. Please teach me. <laughs> Who is it? Okay, professor. <laughs> professor. Professor. I need an extension for my paper, Professor. <laughs> professor, how do you do coffee? Professor. Godot takes a sip and then he's like, perish. I think not, Professor. <laughs> The witness was quite unambiguous when her own ambiguity about her own ambiguity. <laughs> what is he saying? I can't even say it now. God damn it. <laughs> but the garden was dark and she couldn't see clearly. <gasps> oh, wait. Also, Thrifty said a while back, be gay, do crime. Authorized crimes <laughs> include petty, fan petty theft, vandalism, and protest. You're correct. Resisting yeah. arrest is also one of the crimes uh, included. A human needs one thing to see clearly. Glasses. And that is... Light. <laughs> By the way, did you know... Sakura has a rule that on nights when an acolyte is at the inner temple training, the stone lantern in the garden must be kept lit. Hmm. I did wonder what that stone lantern was there for. I mean, decoration? Well, that's true. Shouldn't the witness have been able to see the crime more clearly? Normally, yes, bit your honor. But according to the head nun, Sister Bikini... The night of the crime, it was impossible to light the stone lantern. I mean, it was snowing. Impossible? It hadn't been used in a long time, and the wick was no good. That makes no sense. You literally had the excuse of there was a snowstorm. In other words, it had to have been nearly pitch black in the garden that night. Could have been a faint light coming from the training hall. That's all. Most enlightening. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, that illuminating fact has chased all the contradictions away. Uh, no, I think it means her testimony can't be trusted at all because she didn't see shit! If the staff was dropped, it would be too difficult to see. Also explains why they didn't recognize each other. Can't see the demons that lurk in the oh, night. God. That's why humans are weak. <laughs> Isn't that right? What? Right. Are you not a human? No. <laughs> what? I mean, order. No, no, order. No, no. Order. Here, bitch, your honor. Let me present the stone lantern into evidence. Oh, thank you. Maybe it will rekindle the flame of truth in your mind. Why does it say a hall? <laughs> I think that's upside down, Gramps. Why is the judge just sitting there with that look on his face? What's wrong, bitch, your honor? Was the flame too hot? Th this lantern? There's something written on it! <laughs> Here we go. Why, it's written in blood! Oh boy. So the judge didn't know about that yet. Written in blood? It. it says. it says Maya upside down! What the? Oh uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> the thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> After being cornered and then stabbed by Mystic Maya, Mystic Elise didn't fall down right away. She must have been riding that on the stone lantern behind her. With the blood that was draining out of her body. It seems like Gado didn't know either. Oh, he didn't. Like nobody's yeah, helping he him. Like, <laughs> nobody on the detective force could be like, by the way, Prosecutor Gado. Uh, I, I know you can't see, so that's written in blood. You'd be like, oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, hmm. you would assume that Godot would have heard that from Iris's testimony. 
So it's kind of a thing like, wait, what? You didn't tell me that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it certainly looks that way. Objection. Objection. Hang on. Hang on just a minute. What are you all talking about? <laughs> this poor bitch. <laughs> what, what do you mean, what are we all talking about? We're talking about the message written in blood. Nonsense. It's right there, bitch. This lantern, it just clean as a whistle. We all know you can't see your head, okay? C could it be? You can't see the blooding writing at, writing at all? Now that I think of it, he did say something to me yesterday. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. So that's what he meant by that. In any case, this is obviously an important clue. We now know that the crime scene was dark and that the victim scrawled this message on the stone lantern. Well, Mr. Godot, anything further? M Mr. Godot? Uh, um, wow, we've gotten... <laughs> we really got him on the fences with this one. Let's move on. Godot is literally shaking, and somehow I don't think it's from caffeine overdose. I don't believe he can overdose on caffeine. He is caffeine. <laughs> I believe it has now been established that Miss Donim was killed by Maya Faye. I really don't think that has been established, but <laughs> go off, I guess. Now it's time to turn our attention to you. Yes, sir. After the victim died, you did something, didn't you? Let's hear it. For all ears. I have to use the restroom really quick. Yeah, okay. this might be a good time to take a quick break. Um, because we have almost been going for two hours. So um I'll put on the chill lo fi beats again. Everybody have a raffle. Uh and we'll be back in five or ten minutes.
A little lady? A little lady? A little lady? A little lady? I have a little lady a too! Little... <gasps> you have Calvin! Oh, I've got the <gasps> Branwyn is co-voicing with you? Oh my god, two Aww. little ladies! Wow. Incredible. Many I made popcorn. Ladies. Little ladies. Little, little, little ladies. Little ladies. <laughs> She's Aww. sitting right in front of the screen. Oh! Squirtle keeps yeah, doing that. Hi, Branwyn. Hi, Maine. Welcome back. Hi, Maine. Hi, Branwyn. We love you. I your popcorn kit. It's good. It is good. I did what I was telling you it's about. I put some <laughs> bacon, fat bacon fat with the butter. Yes. And I, I should have I should have specified the bacon fat plus some cayenne. And then like salt. Okay, like yeah, that feels like that would be a good good because if it's just the bacon fat, that might be a bit heavy. No, well, I mean it's like I still use an equal amount like I re I just replaced good. some of the butter with bacon fat. So it's still like it's it's all like the same amount of fat that I'm putting on the popcorn, but the bacon fat oh, has like also, smokiness to it. Also, since I'm I'm getting hungry and so I don't forget, I did order food. <laughs> okay. Before things closed, I ordered food, so I might have to stop in between and go get it. So whoever wants to voice Kado when that happens, go for Thank it. You. All good. I want to try yeah. them out. Yes. <laughs> so red. Fucking hell yeah. All right. The Ren and Kit show tonight. The Ren and Kit show. <laughs> it was. I'm... Never mind. Wait, what? Oh, oh by the way, before we <laughs> nothing, stop. Nothing. Nothing. Oh before yeah. Before we stop, may I make a suggestion? Yes. In that, um, to move the chat box only because I've noticed that the chat box text and the dialogue text overlap each other oh. quite often. And I was true. like, it must be hard to read both of those if you're looking at the screen only. True, true, true. Um, someone typed something in chat really quick. Um, something long that will, like, uh, wrap around so that I can... So, longer than that, Becca. <laughs> I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, for, thank you kindly. <laughs> oh, wait, didn't I... Didn't I make it big enough that it was like... Hold on. Oh, but that's still... I mean, I guess I could put it up here, and whenever there's an alert, it'll just cover up the text box. But, like, listen, sacrifices had to be made. <laughs> oh, Rand, no! <laughs> Rand, you know... You know there's a website where you can jo go to just get yes. a copy pasta. B script yes. movie copy. Why are you giving this to people, Kit? <laughs> Listen! I didn't, I didn't intend to open Pandora's box. Listen, I think the people you need know to know. I need. I think the people need to know. This is a site where you go and you click the copy button and it copies the entire thing. Oh, no. really there you go. They're just giving thing. everyone like a gun, a fully loaded gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas! No. Happy no. holidays! <laughs> I am Santa in this moment. I'm giving you all the gift of knowledge. I'm you're opening Santa, up a Pandora's box. I'm Narnia. You're I... Santa in the line, the witch in the wardrobe, but instead of giving us like a bow and arrow or a dagger, it's the B movie script. Yeah, exactly. Use it wisely. Use it wisely, my children. <laughs> you know that won't happen. No, no I believe in you. To be found. I believe in you. We are the wisest of all known uh, creatures and creators on Twitch. And that in itself is a lack yeah. of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I I think it's true. We're all we're all main we're all main characters. The rest of them are. Um, where did that piece of popcorn fall? What the fuck? They're all not... pieces of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're all uh, NPCs. Come on. Okay. Am I, can I say the line? Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. Uh, after Mystic Elise died, I called out to Mystic Maya. 
thought it was my duty to protect the future master of the Kurang tradition. So I removed the body from the inter inner temple by myself. I dragged it behind me all the way across the d dusky bridge. Oh. Then I used the snowmobile to carry it back to Hasakura Temple and... What time was this? I used the Shichishito to alter the way the wound looked. So you moved the body. <laughs> yes. I was raised at Hasakura Temple. I owe a great deal of thanks to the Fae Clan. But even so, I never imagined that a Lee Stone Nim was actually Misty Fae. I've... I've committed a terrible sin. Hmm. A terrible trick of fate. I believe you're looking for a twist of fate, bitch, your honor. I intended to return to the Inner Temple after taking care of the body. But... Spotted by the head nun, correct? Yes. And that's why I couldn't go back. Your story makes sense. I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Wright, go ahead with your cross-examination. Yes, bitch, your honor. Okay. I mean, did she say anything to you? So you waited until everything was over before making a move? No, it's not like that. Objection. She saw one mur saw someone murdered right in front of her eyes. It's not surprising that she was a little timid. Yes, I suppose that's true. Sometimes when I'm watching lawyers argue back and forth with each other, I feel so helpless that I just sit quietly and wait for them to reach a conclusion. <laughs> Isn't it your job as the judge to mediate the argument? <laughs> oh my god. Suddenly I can't. It wasn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Callie's doing the the thing where she just stands up on her hind legs. It's <laughs> oh. like meerkatting. <laughs> <laughs> no! Um, oh, it was so good. Okay. Calzone. Um, <laughs> It wasn't until Mystic Miles saw me. Mystic Miles? <laughs> yes. That's yeah. I'm actually secretly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, medium. Okay. <laughs> Mystic Miles. <laughs> uh, and it finally dawned on her what she had done. Okay. Okay, let's let's go back and look at our evidence. Um So as a reminder, there was snow from 7 to 10:50, lightning from 10 to 11. Lightning struck at 10:45. Around 30 minutes passed between the fire starting and going out. When did we dis- When was she found with the body, though? Do we have, um, Bikini's testimony? I don't know that we do. Elise was killed from 10 to 11. Taken that night from... Main gate to Dusky Bridge. <laughs> Horrible sketch, God. <laughs> um, and the lights out bell was ringing at ten. I'm having trouble, lads. Um... You want a hint? No. 
See, I like I like when we're able to like talk it all out. Cuz I'm like curious what everybody else's thoughts are mm. as we go through it. I feel like I have a bit of holes in my understanding because of the times that I miss. But like didn't Oh, fair. We um uh figure out the how the snowmobile when and where it was used and things. Um Yeah. I guess I Let's try and press on this. The snowmobile, I knew that would show up sooner or later. Yeah, I had the key. I used the snowmobile to travel from Hazaku to Temple to D Dusky Bridge. This is the part that was in question the other day. Should I ask for more details? Forget about it! Why not? Um... <laughs> If you really did move her body by snowmobile, then there should be tracks left in the snow, right? There are. Well, yes. Naturally, you would expect tracks. This picture was presented at yesterday's trial. Are these the tracks from that ride? E yes I think they are. But I can only see one set of tracks here. Hello? Sorry, my wife oh. is being horrible. <laughs> Hello? Can you catch up, please? Okay. I don't see what's so strange about that. Whatever you said. No <laughs> <laughs> one's still falling when I left Hazakura Temple. I see. Snow was still falling, huh? Okay. Then, when the murder took place, it had already stopped. Okay. That's why- oh, that's why there are such fresh-looking tracks. Hmm. How about it, Mr. Wright? What do you think about this testimony? That's very important. When the murder took place, the snow had already stopped? That doesn't make sense if you stack it up against the other evidence. Bitch, your honor! I like the statement Iris just made added to the testimony. But, but, does it have something to do with the case? Yes. All will be made clear if you allow her statement to be added to the record. Huh. Should be fun. For me! get the snow business cleared up, shall we? Alright, Ren. Hey, Ren. E yes, sir. It just seems like he's getting more and more, like, belligerent towards her as this goes yeah. on. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the weather data. It s The snow stopped at 10.50. And... A lightning had already struck the bridge, so she wouldn't have been able to cross the bridge by the time um, the snow had stopped. I don't know. I feel like um, that's the yeah. I think I like think that's the contradiction. Yeah. Ooh, wait. What? Ah! Yeah. Uh, that statement Tragic contradicts really. his evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection denied. Try to think before you make a condition. Is it right? Fuck! Whoops! That didn't go so well. Okay. Oh, maybe it's this one? Oh, wait! Ah, oh, I didn't mean to press. I uh, whatever. It's pretty amazing you can make it all the way across. That's a rickety old bridge. It looks worse than it is. It's surprisingly sturdy despite its age. Like they say, it's are too stupid to catch even a simple cold. What? <laughs> what? But there's one other thing that bothers me. Why not just throw the body into Eagle River? It would have been much easier than dragging it all the way to Hazakura Temple. Bit of speculation, though. Mm -hmm. I thought that it would still cast too much suspicion on Mystic Maya. 
That's why I tried to take the body as far away as possible. Huh. Makes perfect sense to me. I don't know, the river would take it pretty far away, and didn't they say, like, people go missing? Like, there are a bunch of corpses yeah. they haven't recovered from that river? <laughs> yeah. For the time being. Anyway, what did you do after you crossed the bridge? Okay, so let's present. There we go. There we go. Uh -huh. You claim that the snow had already stopped when the murder occurred. But I'm sorry, Iris. That just isn't possible. What? This is the weather data from the night of the murder. According to this, the snow didn't stop until 10.50 p.m. But you couldn't have crossed Dus Dusky Bridge at that time. Why do you say that? Because five minutes before the snow stopped... Dusky Bridge was struck by lightning and had caught on fire. What did you say? You knew this! I fell through! The, the bridge it was on fire. Uh, Iris is being a real sussy baka right now. <laughs> you don't mean to say you didn't know about it? It was because of that lightning strike that the bridge burned down. What? But it can't... It can't be. I suspect there is an imposter among us. Among us. <laughs> it looks like you still haven't figured it out. No matter how hard you try to deceive or conceal the truth, you're not Iris. You can't pull oh. the wool. <laughs> you can't pull the wool over the eyes of a real defense attorney. Did this I is my power. <laughs> I think you might have called it. I don't remember what you predicted. I said Order. this is an iris at the very, very beginning of this specific trial. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. The one that we came in today, I was like, haha, this is an iris. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have predicted it, because I think that's what's going on right yeah. now, right? Like, why would yeah. Iris all of a sudden decide to confess and try and pin it on Maya? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, Iris wouldn't confess this. Like, yeah, and her. like that work wouldn't... with the prosecution. But this just like basically confirms it. Like, she knew that the bridge was down because she was there on site uh -huh. just yesterday. She had to cross yeah. that chasm yeah. with the makeshift bridge. The bridge was already on fire when the incident took place. That's right. The inner temple was already totally cut off from the outside world. There's no way you could have crossed the bridge, body or no body. Our new game, Body or Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Input your answers now. <laughs> you have I had, seconds on the clock. I had a terrible thought. Do y'all know about that Japanese game show where they put the contestants in a room where some of the items are made of chocolate, but they're made to look like <laughs> normal items in the room? Iris. And they have to go around and bite on Iris. things? <laughs> Is she cake or not cake? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> Witness, even my patience has its <laughs> limits. <laughs> Any further lying, and I will find you in contempt of court. Can you please? Don't get your own sweaty. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Objection. <sighs> Objection. The person here that is truly contemptible is you. Are you calling the judge contemptible? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm calling you out, bitch! Me? How dare you? Whether this witness lied or not to what? Right now. Oh my <laughs> god! god. Yeah, it literally does. What are, you, what are does. you fucking talking about? Squat! What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the important thing now is to find out the truth. What? Right. So that yeah, is I, so contradictory. Oh yes, my God. Of course, I but... this man. Whether it was snowing or not snowing, or whether the bridge was burning or not, there are two facts that can't be disputed. First, the body of Elise de Noom was discovered in the Hazakura Temple courtyard. Noom. <laughs> and second, the head nun, Sister Bikini. 
witnessed Iris desecrating Elise Donim's body. It, he makes a good point on both accounts. That's right, I'm not lying. <laughs> what are you claiming this time? I wasn't myself at all that night. Literally. Same brain cell. Yes. So my memory is still somewhat hazy. Objection! You have stood that witness stand and testified this entire time. Are you telling us now that your memory of that night is hazy? Objection. Is only human to err. Oh my god. You're so perfect, Trite. Maybe you can explain this for the court. I will! The murder happened. The bridge had already burnt down. Somehow, the body traveled across the bridge and was found in the temple courtyard. Perhaps you have some kind of perfect explanation for this little magic trick. It was actual magic. Ugh. Not exactly, no. I know there must be some other way she got across that burnt-out bridge. But unless I can somehow demonstrate it, uh, we'll never know the truth. It looks like the defense is not prepared to offer a suitable explanation. Oh my god. <laughs> you see what I mean? In other words... You're in no position to suggest that this lady's testimony isn't the truth. I just provided concrete evidence as to why it's not true! Ugh! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Alright then. Witness, let's hear your testimony once oh more. Oh my god. About what, bitch your honor? Based on what? <laughs> <laughs> You've admitted that you moved the victim's body. Nevertheless, your prior testimony contained a rather large inconsistency. Please add an explanation for that to your testimony. Yes, but your honor. Will this be her final testimony? Find out next time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney! <laughs> Good night, everybody! <laughs> Other than walking over the bridge, there's no way to move the body. So I must have just gotten confused, I guess. Was well, the stove still falling, or had it stopped? It doesn't really matter that much. Or are you saying that there is a way to cross a burning bridge? I mean... Hmm. <laughs> what was that? I don't. So... <laughs> that was a non-answer. Uh-huh. It was just a misunderstanding, I see. This is a photo of Dusky Bridge after it burned down from the lightning blast. Why did I think he was about to show Larry's <laughs> drawing? <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't have that. Oh my yeah. god. Wait. It was, would he know the Wait, are we are we literally going to present his drawing as evidence on one of these? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> it certainly was burned to a crisp, and one of the suspension wires even snapped. Oh. It's amazing the whole bridge <laughs> didn't fall. I cannot fucking believe this. Oh my god, this is so funny. Clearly it would be impossible to carry a corpse across a bridge in this condition. I- oh my- Unless I do something to discredit this testimony, it's going to be deemed as the truth. And Maya will be accused of murder for a third time! <laughs> right. I'm only going to say it one more time. It is only human to err. And... Only humans can spot the errors of our ways. Literally, what the well, fuck are you saying? Check. 
Tell that to my spell check. <laughs> <laughs> the more sense he makes, the less sense he makes. All right, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. With pleasure. Listen, I already know what I'm going to do. Speedrun this bullshit. Present this a masterpiece! <laughs> a dead oh body flying God. over a burning bridge. I wouldn't exactly rule out the possibility. What? <laughs> oh my God. Huh. You're saying it's possible? Don't make me laugh. Too late. The only thing that's possible about your claim is that it's been pulled out of thin air. I don't know about that! In any case, we have a witness who did see it happen. Plot twist! Plot twist! Plot twist! Plot twist! Who is it? Who is this witness? Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I had a popcorn shell stuck in my teeth. I, I can't chicken out here. I've got to keep on the attack and go, go, go! <laughs> Back to the top! <laughs> God. Ms. Elise Donim's brilliant and highly gifted apprentice, Loris Donim. Brilliant? Highly gifted apprentice? Remember what he said in his testimony. That night he was at the mountain shack, Heavenly Hall. And that's when he witnessed the event. I think you've all seen this sketch before. It's an exact drawing of what he witnessed that night. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Today's not April Fool's Day, is it? Do, do I have egg on my face? <laughs> Mr. Wright. Are you seriously claiming that the victim th flew through thin air? You do not have egg on your face, but I can change that if you want. Please. <laughs> and you're using this pathetic scribble to support your argument? I am! Uh-oh. The judge looks like he's about to blow a gasket. <laughs> Phoenix with all his theater kid training. Very skilled! Highly gifted! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Trite, there's nowhere for you to hide now. Other than looking like it was drawn by a six-year-old. A very talented six-year-old. Anything? Six-year-old? Yes. yes, I'm pretty sure it does, and I'm gonna prove it. Listen, I know your tricks. I'm trying to turn this whole thing upside down. It is my trademark. If you're so eager to turn this case upside down, why not start with this sketch? Uh -huh. Upside uh -huh. down? Why did Godot say this? Oh, I was remembering correctly! <laughs> Alright then, let's hear the defense's theory. What exactly is this sketch trying to show? I think old Whiskerface is going to forgive any more mistakes. Oh, <laughs> Whiskerface. <laughs> All right, Phoenix, look carefully and think it over. This sketch drawn by Laurie Stonem is... <laughs> Evidence of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't even be the first time a credible witness claimed to see someone fight. Exactly, we just covered this in the last game. Come on. Um, uh... I think it's exactly what happened. It's just upside down. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. Balls to the wall. Of course the victim was- Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait. No. Oh, wait. We, we, we can still save this. Of course Oof. the victim was flying oh, through the no. air. You can it's see so it right fun. there in the sketch. Oh, whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. You know, you're starting to remind me of yesterday's witness. <laughs> what? That was the last thing I wanted to hear! Do you have any evidence that the victim flew, flew through the air? No. Magic. Exists. 
haven't discovered a giant human catapult at the inner temple yet. Oh, uh, I wish they had! <laughs> can we- I mean, uh, can no, the other I don't know if Even if you're a lousy lawyer, at least you're one cup's one worth of, of entertainment. One of the suspension things were, um, was broken. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I know. It could have been used as like a like a, a rope or something. I have oh, been oh, thinking this too. It's a swing swing. Mm -hmm. I think we should skip the penalty this time. That's very He's generous like a of swing. you. Uh, a swing and a miss. <laughs> there must be some way. I just know it. I think the penalty system would be more fun if the prosecution also had a, a penalty. And it was like a boss battle, right? Like you both yeah. have HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's think work that would be cool, piss yeah. court. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a way to use Larry's sketch to show the truth of what happened. All right, then. The witness will now return to her testimony. Yes, but your honor. Wait, what? <laughs> well, we can't we have to do it over again. Oh. All of it? Once more. Once more. Once with more feeling this with time. Feeling. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Oh <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I have a little lady here though. <gasps> Look at her! Little lady. Little lady. Little lady. She oh, came to see lady. what the fuss little is lady. about. Hi Hello, Squirtle. Squirtle. I love you. I love you, Squirtle. Love you. I'm I'm cleaning my fingers of butter so that I can pick her up. <laughs> she looks so <laughs> cute. <laughs> She's just like looking. She oh, fell. Look at her. She jumped oh as my God. soon as you... I tried to pick her up. The way oh. she's positioned. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Did I hurt you? Let me go. Did I hurt you? <laughs> oh. Come here. Such a slinky little I, It's okay. I accidentally poked Donna's eye. Oh, so I was just no. like, oh no, no, I'm you so okay? sorry. She's okay. You okay? Like sometimes it's just accidents. You're I, like, oh my god, oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, I've definitely like full on uh, within the past like couple months accidentally stomped on Squirtle's tail. I felt it's so bad. I felt so, so bad. But she also has a nasty habit of like, um, like she'll follow me from room to room and stuff. But she loves to like get under my feet. Like yes. it's. Same. I'm like, girl, you need to follow at a safe distance. I'm not looking down all the time. Like, and she yeah. moves so quickly that sometimes I can't course correct. It's like, girl. Some, I have to purposely make sure that I'm looking at the ground when I'm entering a certain hallway because she yeah. loves to like crouch in that hallway. Oh no. For some yeah. reason, she just loves to do it. I'm like, you're there, aren't you? Squirtle, uh, in my, um... darker shade of black on the floor. In my mom's house, <laughs> Squirtle loved to crouch on the stairs, which for a long time were oh, a dark no. green. Um, so Rhea. it was really easy to miss her. Yeah. Rhea! My angle, how are you? We got Squirtle. Hello, Rhea! Mwah! This time I accidentally grabbed her by her soft tummy instead of her oh. uh, ribs. <laughs> so, you know, like, she got caught on my arm. <laughs> With my arm, like, only hands. supporting her soft tummy and not her ribs. Oh, baby. That's why I was like, are you that okay? Once. Yeah, I did that once accidentally with Donna and she actually, like, yelped out. I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Gordo was not happy just now. Squirtle, he is our precious. Yeah, precious. Squirtle, do you have anything to say? <laughs> I'm one glass of wine in, y'all. Hell yeah. Oh, get ready for some shenanigans. Ready to do some shots <laughs> with Rhea. <Yes. laughs> oh, did the mic pick up your little meow? Okay, I will let you go, lady. You can go back to your mischief. <laughs> Goodbye! Uh, okay, actually, continue on without me, because I need to get my order. Oh, okay. Give me one second, I'm going to duck into the other room.
I'll take over for Rand. Very quick. And Ren, you have Godot if I'm not here. Okie dokie. I shall do you justice as well as I may. Beautiful. Testing, testing. So how's everybody Let's doing tonight? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm good. How are you? Uh, really? I'm good. It's like 2 p.m. for me. So I'm having a great day. What? I've been waiting for Aww. this. I've been waiting for this for weeks. <laughs> I'm glad. I've been so excited all day. Pardon? Oh, I just said I've I've been so excited all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of us just like when when legally bold when. Literally, just like vibrating, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you, Ria? Oh, Ria's Aww. been hyped too. You're an angel. <laughs> like I feel, I feel almost unhinged. Oh, we can. <laughs> like I've been, like I've been, energy. I've been like storing like three weeks of jokes. And yeah. this kind of unhinged energy, <laughs> or for today. Let the fucking floodgates open, is what I say. <laughs> I was having dinner with Ian's brother, and like I was having fun at dinner. Don't get me wrong, but I was also like, <laughs> what, oh. <laughs> so what I say oh, is, yeah. let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> That's what oh I said. <laughs> 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 okay. When legally it. bald. Let's, go. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I made a coffee uh, cocktail. Ooh. A very big one. This was probably Ooh. a mistake. I had pumpkin spice uh, liqueur and coffee liqueur and some milk, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> liqueur. Liqueur. Hot take right out the gate, Kit, but I respect it. Thank you, Rhea. I can always count on you. It all comes back to this! <laughs> I can't believe we're looking at this again. B believe it! I admit that I didn't really understand it before. But I get it now, I promise you. That's why I believe this sketch shows the truth! Uh, I was a not major. I'm so funny. <sighs> Very well. All right, then. Let's hear the defenses theme. Oh my god, he's so done. <laughs> what exactly is this sketch trying to show? All right, this is the same. I don't think he's going to forgive any more mistakes. All right, Phoenix, look carefully and think it over. This sketch drawn by Laurie Stonem... I guess a complete contradiction? Yeah, because the third one was incorrect. Like... I don't know how you would use evidence of nothing. Okay. It's just a pretty drawing I wanted to show you. <laughs> it's just, isn't it lovely? Look at all the colors. Ooh, it's coffee cocktails. Shameless, shameless plug for my friend. Coffee co <laughs> His commissions are open. Um, <laughs> <laughs> coffee cocktails scare me because alcohol plus caffeine. I think I would just explode. I don't know that there's actual caffeine in here. Like, the, the coffee is... The coffee portion is just, like, infused... Um coffee liquor so i don't know if in that infusion process the the alcohol then also takes on the caffeine or if that's something that's left behind i would be really in interested to know about the chemistry of that but something is obviously funny about this sketch okay i'm no art critic but even i can see <laughs> no no that's not what i meant your honor i see i see flash excuse me Oh, flav flavor. Anything made Mr. with coffee Mr. probably Troy, has some caffeine. Can you address him by the incorrect address? Huh? I can't believe this. Oh, 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 bitch, your honor. Throw I'm so, out. so sorry. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Can't we fix things? Like, mm. what if I, um, uh. What? 
What could make this better? The human gave just, uh, your bald scalp a massage? Ew. You may slap my bald head. Continue. <laughs> what an honor! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, we gotta get some Foley work with that. Okay. Uh, anything made with that's coffee the probably... <laughs> that's that's the sound. <laughs> Wapoom. Um, <laughs> even decaf coffee has trace amounts. That I do know, because decaf coffee isn't that they basically just roast it into oblivion until most of the coffee burns off. <laughs> I think that's what happens. <laughs> Give your balls the massage. <laughs> um, anyway, Lori's so stated it over and over. <laughs> this sketch was exactly as he saw it. Wait, I'm going to take my first sip. First sip of the evening. Hmm. That's pretty decent. I immediately read decalp and was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Rhea, you're the... <laughs> what was that meme going around like a couple months ago? <laughs> she, uh, she was broken, but he was okay. Or like, he lied or... Yeah. It... I forget. Rhea, you're the, you're the opposite. <laughs> One of that decalp? What does that mean? <laughs> and we love you for it. However, if we're to believe his testimony, then the sketch contradicts reality as we know it. It contradicts reality? Oh, thank you, Rhea. Yeah. You are SB vid yes. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> ha. This is getting interesting. Looks like you're back to that finger pointing thing. Beaved. <laughs> wow, this could <laughs> Okay, trite. So what exactly contradicts reality? And I didn't see the rest of that before it disappeared. I mean, the flying girl. Oh, Oh, he ran back. Wait, okay. Not the oh flying girl. God, I wanted to hear you. <laughs> I think it's the suspension wires. Is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe? Yeah. Sure. I, I don't... I mean, it's either the suspension wires or the person. You know? I get, let's, mm. let's go with the person, first of all. This flying figure, naturally. Okay. After all, people haven't learned to fly yet. Where did I miss something? Yeah, you missed the last game, dipshit. <laughs> Mr. Wright, that answer just now. It was lethal. It really wasn't. I'm still alive. <laughs> Mr. Wright, after dragging us all the way to this point, that answer was embarrassing. <laughs> it was literally so cringe, I'm actually blushing. Blushing only suits women, not the elderly. Well, anyway, what you? now? Oh, what? <laughs> Hello, buddy face. Things, Hello? things that are not women, the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old women don't exist. Yeah, old women, they don't the exist. The masculine urge to be old. <laughs> <laughs> the masculine urge to age. <laughs> Let's rethink things. I'm just. Oh, oh shit! shit. No! Oh, no! I've decided to rethink the whole thing. Oh fuck me! Uh, that sounds again. like a wise idea. Oh uh, shit! We, why are we stuck on this so much? I <laughs> don't. Time's a charm. Why you became a lawyer? Perhaps you'd like to rethink merely being bold. Okay, that was a sick-ass oh, burn. No, no, I'm not going that far back. All right, then. The witness will now return to her testimony. Oh, Rhea makes a good point. The feminine urge to be young forever. There we go. Yeah. The feminine urge to grasp immortality in your hands. Yes, bitch, your honor. Sorry, I should say eternal youth, not immortality. Those are two very different things. 
Oh Plus, my god. I had a... My sandwich that I ordered is really, really good, and I look forward to finishing it when we have a break. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. What what kind of sandwich you get? Okay. Yeah, a grilled chicken sandwich, and it had roasted bell peppers and mushrooms Ooh. and jack cheese, melted jack cheese on it. Oh, nice. Very like nice. The restaurant specialty. Okay, a complete contradiction. Okay. Everybody supersonic racing. Da 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 da. Oh, here we are. Gotta go fast. The bridge, like the. Yeah. I yeah, I think it's got to be the ropes. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's this wire connected to the bridge. The wire? No, like that HBO series. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that the thing that contradicts reality? It is indeed. Then show us the reality it supposedly conflicts with. Show us something that will point out how the sketch contradicts reality. Um, mm. we just got this bridge photo, right? Mm -hmm. All right yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and present this. That's a photo of Dusky Bridge, correct? Yes. Now compare the sketch and the photo for a minute. In the sketch, the wires appear to be above the guard wires. But on the actual Dusky Bridge... <laughs> Jumping Jehoshaphat! <laughs> the wires are below the guard wires! <laughs> Did you not notice this, dude? Order! No. Order! Order! My this sketch is so different than what's depicted <laughs> in the photo. Just a little. Just a However, tiny bit. Isn't it likely that the artist just saw it wrong? So he just drew it wrong. Either way, it sounds like you're just wrong. No, my name's right. Thank you, though. With someone like Larice, I admit a dis mistake is a definite possibility. But then that begs the question. Why did he make a mistake? What was the reason? Are you saying you know the answer to that? Listen, think back, all right? Remember what Larice was doing when he witnessed this event. He was at Heavenly Hall, waiting for a lover that was never going to come. He waited and waited more and- more than one. Yeah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, even if she did come, she wouldn't have. He waited yeah. and He waited and waited and finally he laid down. <laughs> but then, lightning shoots from the sky and sets the bridge aflame. Now ponder what sort of position Loris must have been in at the time. We all know he's a famous back to. sleeper. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> he was lying on his back, which is why he remembered the scene the way he did. He was lying on his back? I can't see how it He works. drew it upside down. But it does, bitch your honor. That is the reason the wires, why the wires in the sketch go up instead of down. Oh! <laughs> oh, no way. Yes way. Lori Stonem witnessed the event while he was lying on his back, face up. In other words, the scene that he saw was actually upside down. So then, this sketch should actually... I think you finally get it, bitch, your honor. The correct way to view Lori Stonem's sketch is like this. They couldn't have done, like, a fun, like, spinny animation. Not in yeah, the budget. Uh, this is how it should actually look. Holy shit, he just turned it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback to the first game. Holy shit, he turned the receipt over! 
<laughs> you can do that? Oh my God. What? I don't know. You can, nobody I've been only it. using half of, the, half of the pages in my notebook all my life. Pieces of paper <laughs> have two dimensions? <laughs> He's waiting for the love of his life and you're making a cum joke and laughing. He was lying on his back and you're laughing. Yes, Rhea. Yes. I, I know I will continue. <sighs> The victim's body wasn't flying above the bridge. It was actually swinging below. That's right, just like a pendulum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Order, order, order. Objection. Of all the things to say, a pendulum? Yeah. The bridge was burning to a crisp. There was no way to get across it. But if the body had been found at the inner temple, it would have caused problems. This is where the criminal decided to take a gamble. They used the burning bridge to get the body across to the other side. And a pendulum was the only way to get it done. Objection. Let's think about this for a minute, shall we? I'm thinking. The Husky Bridge is about 20 yards long. Which means it's about that far from the inner temple to the opposite cliff. Yes, that sounds right. In order to cover that distance with a pendulum... Are you gonna make me fucking do geometry right now? I can't do this, bitch. I hope to god not. I can't do geometry. Okay, they... The bridge is 20 it. yards long. The, oh. the rope that was used to, to as a pendulum was 10 yards long. If at least no oh. weighs 140 <laughs> pounds... <laughs> and gravity is earth gravity. Oh, what, what angle? What angle would she need to be thrown in? <laughs> then who <laughs> was phone? <laughs> so Kachoa, baby. Out. Yeah. Uh, all my life has been preparing for this moment. To get a rope that long, you have to plan ahead. No, you don't. One of the suspension tables broke. The lightning strike that night can only have been an accident. So it doesn't make sense that the culprit would have prepared the rope beforehand. So then... They didn't have to get the rope ready. The rope was already right in front of them. What? I'm saying that it was just a matter of using what was already there. Rhea, you are a motherfucking engineer! Oh, hell yeah, Rhea. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Let's so call- Rhea, yeah. our- Rhea is our expert witness. Love this. I love this for our court. <laughs> our piss court. Like, a, a contemporary of, of Gumshoe. Just how Rhea would want it. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, Mr. Wright, please give us an explanation to support your theory. What makes you think the criminal had the rope on hand to create a pendulum? Um... Would it just be the photo again? I... yeah! I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess the photo. It feels wrong to keep presenting it, but... And the meaning of this is... <laughs> I want a badge that says official piss court engineer. Rhea, I promise oh you, God. I will give you that, um, that, uh, role in the Discord. <laughs> Once Yay, this is over. <laughs> if you want to know where the rope came from, it's hanging right there in front of your glorious beard. Ah! A compliment. This... This is one of the wires from the bridge. I'm glad it worked. When the lightning struck the bridge and set it on fire, one of the suspension wires came loose from its anchor. The criminal didn't have any time to waste, so they tied the wire around Elise Donim's body. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! Da -na 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 she goes. She can do whatever spiders can, and she went from a web. <laughs> yes, she can. She's Elise. Look out! She is a spider <laughs> <She's> lady. <Elise Donem. laughs> I didn't expect them to animate that, but that was so good because there's simply no other way to move the body. Oh, don't give me that. 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> Why is his oh, Adam's God. apple just so erotic? I hate that. It was like, I need my game of juice. Right oh, one. Jesus. <laughs> Me too. Me too, bitch. The fuck? Does he have an endless <laughs> coffee mug? There's not that much coffee in there. Yeah. It seems that Mr. Godot is more focused on his coffee than answering my question. I would be too. It seems that the odds of a rope being readily available were very high. So I suppose that it's not an impossibility after all. Objection. <laughs> Objection. Oh, there's still liquid in there. <laughs> Possible or impossible. <laughs> He's just it's continuing to, to ask. <laughs> He's just going to continue glugging without any liquid. Oh my god, Rio, you're right though. See you in a minute, Shannon. Tell us how your food is. Me with this mine right now. Uh, uh, Rhea, I'm literally getting the image of you just taking the wine wholesale and just. <gasps> <laughs> Chug, chug, chug. This is <laughs> this is reminding me when some frat kid told me oh, about no. have you guys heard about slapping the bag? <laughs> Where uh, you take no. some bagged wine um and oh. <laughs> you're like you're chugging the bagged wine, but also your bros are like slapping the bag to like twist it up. <laughs> I don't know. He made some reference to I slapping the bag. Out. I I guess. Uh yeah, bagged wine. <laughs> Listen. Uh those were dark times. College was a dark a dark time for us all. <laughs> I've seen this happen, Rhea, I believe it. I've never seen it in person, but God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's only one question. Did that really happen? Yes. Right. I wonder if you can prove what happened to us. Uh, I I don't think that's within the scope of today's trial. The the long and storied history between you and evidence. I. <laughs> Do you have any actual evidence that the body was swan over like a pendulum? That's a good fucking question. Um. Wait. Oh? Yeah. The autopsy report says 10 feet. Oh, you're right! Oh my fucking god, you're so right. Take that. Before I present my evidence, let me review what we know so far. According to this photo, one of the wires snapped. Looking at the map, we can see it's the one that was in front of the inner temple. So then, that was the spot where the criminal... Yes, precisely. Now, let us consider the body's movement by looking at the overhead map again. If the body was pushed from this point here... It would drop on the opposite bank at approximately this point. D did you just say drop? Well, they must have failed to catch the body on the other's bank. What? What makes you think something like that happened? Because I have evidence that suggests her body dropped some distance. What kind of evidence? Take a look at this autopsy report! It says here that her body fell about 10 feet after her death. 10 feet, huh? That's most likely the height difference between the two sides. The body overswung due to forward momentum, but then came loose and fell at about 10 feet. Then, as a result of the landing impact, can, okay, can I just, can I, can we just talk about how gruesome it would have been if this had yeah. failed, um, and her body was just yeah. suspended from the beneath the bridge as it burned yeah. to a crisp? <laughs> that would be so terrible. Like, what yeah. the fuck? I mean, it was already terrible, but Jesus, this crystal sphere was knocked loose. Oh. Oh, I bet I could have presented the crystal sphere as evidence, yeah, too. Yeah. Yes, this blood-stained amethyst crystal. It's the one that came off of Ms. Zelizdonin's staff. Uh, kind of them to send the staff with her. 
Um, Honestly. And even more important is the place where this crystal sphere was found. It, indeed. I believe it's already marked on this overhead map. The crystal was found... Ah! Precisely, bitch, your honor. In the very spot where the pendulum would arrive if given the right amount of speed. This explains your theory quite well, Mr. Wright. You have provided us with a way the body could have been moved that night. What was that sound? Impressive. <laughs> I know, it's like, did somebody sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something, like, hit him. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, did but he didn't slap? react. It, yeah, it almost sounded like a slap, or like, I was like, Francisca? <laughs> An impressive deduction, uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> okay! Mr. Wright! <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you down. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh that was <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> All this like did somebody hear something? <laughs> what just happened? It sounded like a slap. <laughs> <laughs> just that reveal and the way they don't linger on it they just like flash over to it they're like yeah and then they go back to the judge and you're like it's so fucking that was fucking oh my god Rhea we gotta clip it for you because holy shit oh so, my god the judge was sitting there talking and at the beginning of his dialogue, we heard like a sound that was like a smack sound effect. And we were like, but the judge didn't, like nothing about the picture changed. And uh, we were like, wait, did did we all hear that? Like, did someone slap the judge? Or like, did Francisca show up and whip him? Or like, what the heck was that? We spent like 30 seconds talking about that. And then after we went to the next dialogue, it showed Phoenix having been hit by Godot's mug and drenched in coffee, and then it flipped right back to the judge, and he was like, um. <laughs> it was so good. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Godot? He's done yeah, this to me before, I don't- Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was a dark and bitter guess that you made, Trite. But you forgot about one thing. Oh? And what would that be? The aroma. Uh-huh! The coffee's most reliable accomplice is its deep and profound aroma. Um, the rest of the court doesn't speak coffee knees. Can you elaborate a bit more? If the criminal had sent the body to the other side, like you say. Naturally, there must have been an accomplice lying in wait to catch it. Yeah, it was Iris. An accomplice? The criminal wasn't able to cross Dusky Bridge. So, who collected the body? What do you have to say about that, Trite? <clears throat> Mr. Godot is correct. This can't be the work of a single person. Well, Mr. Wright, you know what you must do. Yes, bitch, your honor. I gotta give it to him. The body couldn't have been made- couldn't have made it to Hazakura Temple without an accomplice. Very well, then. If you please, Mr. Wright. Who was the person that received the body on the Hazakuda temple side? Oh, we fucking know. It was Iris! It can only be you, Sister Iris. Huh? But, but I... I don't see why you're so surprised. The only way to transport the, dotty, the body from Dusky Bridge is by <laughs> snowmobile. Dotty. The Dottie. But with her bad back, Sister Bikini could never pick up a body like that. You're the only one that could have managed it. Objection. Right. Were you even listening to the witness's testimony? I mean, it was full of lies, but... <laughs> oh yeah, I was listening. Crime, 
this woman. <laughs> but I respect the person. I don't know if I respect her as a person anymore. I think I respect her as a threat. Was <laughs> on cleanup oh. duty in the inner temple garden after the mother daughter bloodbath. Objection! It was just guzzling the respect woman juice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I haven't forgotten, but have you, Mr. Goodell? This witness was also seen at Hazakura Temple, desecrating the corpse of the victim. Hmm. Strange indeed. It's almost as if... On that night, the defendant was in two different places at the same time. That's what mm. I've been saying! Mm. Sister Iris, let me ask you something. Why didn't you mention it when you first gave your testimony? M mention what? The pendulum, of course. Using the sketch drawn by an eyewitness, I have established how the body was moved using the burnt-out bridge. Which means it's now a fact that this occurred, something you should have already known. N no, I, I had no idea. I... I didn't know anything about a pendulum. But the body couldn't have been passed along to the other side without your help. So you should have known about it. In fact, it'd be impossible for you to be clueless about this whole thing. Unless you're not really Iris to begin with. <gasps> the truth come out. We been new, though. Ren knew from the very beginning, but we been no. Yeah. What? Know. What kind of nonsense is this? You, you're saying that this witness isn't Iris of Hazakura Temple? Objection! Are are you serious, Trite? You, you mean this, this woman is? There's no one besides Iris that could have received the corpse that night. Now I get it. Now I know why I've been sick to my stomach this whole trial. Why her whole demeanor has changed so suddenly from yesterday. And why she's trying to pin this murder on Maya. The woman that's standing there at the witness stand. Her real name is... <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. Dahlia Hawthorne. Wait, what happened to the whole Edgeworth thing? Oh, you mean like how Edgeworth was prosecuted or er, defending? Or like what what part of the Edgeworth thing? Because uh he was just filling in for Phoenix, uh, because Phoenix was in the hospital. <laughs> Cause he fell off a bridge and into a river. Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> but now he's fine. Bar. Somehow. Somehow he's cool. fine. Uh, listen, Phoenix is like superhuman. Or super lucky. I'm not sure. I never thought I'd have to utter Probably your name stars. again. Let alone see you. What? Okay. It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. I guess. Hawthorne? Sister Iris had a twin sister. And you're looking at her. Ms. Dahlia Hawthorne. That name rings some bells. Distant bells, but bells nonetheless. Uh, that's impressive for you, Judge, all things considered. <laughs> Thank you. It's just your imagination, Gramps. This file contains all relevant data about Dahlia Hoth. Are you going to conveniently add it to the court record? Yes, I am, bitch. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate You're it. Welcome. I can use it against oh, you. Yes. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I remember now. That case. Five years ago. Who played Dahlia? <laughs> I, uh, my, my Wi-Fi is just not oh, having no. fun. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <gasps> Square ball. I'm back, though, for a little bit. Scorable. She walked uh, past my leg. Aww. Aww. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. 
I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. The honor is all mine. <laughs> no, the honor is all mine. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. <laughs> that was a nice transition. Yeah. According to this, nothing has changed. Dahlia Hawthorne is already dead. Hmm? It says her execution was carried out last month. <laughs> so what? I'm glad you're with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no meaning in this courtroom. Then why are we here? <laughs> Godot's based. Oh, yeah. That's the most precise thing you've said what? in this whole thing. What? Order, order, order. Wait a moment. How can you? My sister, she's already dead. Well, what kind of- Don't play dumb with me. You of all people should already understand. After all, the blood of the master of the Kurine channeling technique flows within that body. The Kurine channeling technique? Now where have oh I Oh my god. That? That's right. You're not Dahlia Hawthorne herself. You're the spirit of Dahlia, currently inhabiting the body of a spirit medium. What an exciting story. Exciting, but quite impossible. Mm -mm. Or asking us to buy that Dahlia Hawthorne just happened to be channeled by someone the very night of the murder to a temple where her twin sister Iris was well if you're going oh. to put things that way then yeah Objection. oh I just got something Objection. we're supposed to believe a coincidence like that just happens Objection. it's no coincidence <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was part of a plan from the very beginning it's all written right here in these instructions. I didn't even have to present them. Uh, uh, what's that? These instructions were written by your mother, Morgan Fay. And part of the plan called for Dahlia Hawthorne to be channeled. That night, there were two irises at Hazakura Temple. <laughs> two of them? Two, two of them? Two of them. Two of them? <laughs> two of them. Two of them. Even the time of the channeling was planned out. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, in other words, 10 p.m. However, Iris was seen before dinner time. That means the Iris that was at dinner was the real Iris. No, Dahlia Hawthorne has been canceled, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently. Uh, the... Yeah, by the state. <laughs> Fuck. Cancelled by the state. I hate to get cancelled by the state. <laughs> you have been charged with cringe activities. <laughs> the sentence is cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> and the Iris who gave me this hood in the main hall was also the real I real Iris. State mandated cancellation. <laughs> Oh, meaning that the Iris sister bikini saw at the inner temple was someone else dressed as her, namely one Dahlia Hawthorne. Objection. Do you even know what you're saying, Trite? Yeah. This whole channeling the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne business. Yes, it's true that you found plans that talk about it. However, there's one thing that's perfectly clear. Witness currently standing in the witness stand is the real Iris. No, it's not. W what? Calm down and remember what you know about the night of the crime. After meeting Sister Bikini, the Dahlia Hawthorne that had been channeled have been stranded at the inner temple due to the lightning strike. <laughs> oh 
God. Yeet. <laughs> 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 It was later that the body was moved by the pendulum. That's right. Naturally, that would mean that the iris that received the body was... The real iris. You with me so far? Yes. After being notified of what happened, the police came to Hazakura Temple's main hall. There they found Iris in her room and arrested her. Ever since, she's been under police supervision at the detention center. Yes, I suppose. I can't deny any of that. Phew. Thank goodness. <laughs> it looks like he's finally convinced. No. I almost girl boss too close to the sun there. <laughs> <laughs> she Hold did. On, girl boss, I got a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> but something still seems way off. I'm still not convinced that the iris here is the same one from the other night. <laughs> I suppose you're about to say something really ridiculous. Not that far fetched. Okay, go on. Just let me take a sip. Brace myself. And this tea. Uh, I switched to chamomile at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, the real Iris and the spirit of Dahlia somehow switched places. S switch places. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, there are still quite a few things I do not understand. <laughs> but I do know that unless we confirm the witness's identity, we can't continue with this trial. Iris doesn't have the spiritual power needed to channel Dahlia. Which means... They must have switched places somewhere, and I know exactly where. Well, oh. Mr. Wright? Since the time she was arrested at Hazakuta Temple... Oh, I clicked out of the window. Have there been any chances for Iris to switch places with Dahlia Hawthorne? There was one. Bitch, your honor. I think there might have been one chance. Oh? Explain yourself. Yesterday, for a few minutes, Iris's whereabouts were unknown. Known? What do you mean? What I mean is... There was a span of time in which Iris was able to move about freely, unsupervised. Well, who was it? Who would give a murder suspect time to move around freely like that? I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean to. It wasn't your fault. The person who gave Iris the chance to move freely about was... Uh, why do we got a narc on our boy like this? Ooh. Poor boy. Oh! Inter uh, I didn't realize they updated this. Said to be number one at the DA's office. Studies foreign judicial systems now. Well, he can always bail. He can yeah. always be a flight risk and bail. <laughs> <laughs> this is your husband, Mr. Edgeworth, isn't it? <laughs> it is my... Well, we're not married yet. We were kind of saving that announcement for later. But yes, it is oh, Mr. Fuck. Edgeworth. Wait. God, Bitch, your I, honor. Bitch, your really? honor. We were going to make a whole reveal about it. Oh, man. And you just had to... Ugh, anyway... Enough of the reveal, I didn't know about it. What? We talked about this. <laughs> we made meaningful eye contact in my hospital room, Edgeworth. The judge looks at everybody and goes, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fairly large earthquake yesterday, was there not? An earthquake? Hmm. Earthquake! <laughs> My goodness, the inner temple. This kind of tremor might. How could I have? She fled. She escaped. Oh, Edgy. We went to the inner temple right away. And it's true, Iris was already in there. However, 
They had already switched places by that point in time. When I arrived at the training hall, I was met by none other than Dahlia Hawthorne. That's quite enough already, Mr. Wright. Now see here. No judge in his right mind would consider the idea of spirit channeling and... Be quiet. <laughs> Here she is! Uh, Here comes the Goro! <laughs> there she is! <laughs> it's been a long time, Mr. Judge. Th that voice. Guess I'll have to ask again. Upon meeting a beautiful lady, is ask for her name and profession. That's one of my rules. Thalia Hawthorne, and my current profession? Permanently retired. <laughs> oh, I'm a ghost! Wow, I'm a ghost! Wow. Wow. <laughs> so you're not going to bother your, uh, hiding your identity anymore, huh? Why should I? After all, I'm dead. Oh, jeez. There's really nothing you can do to punish me. I will find ways. What is going on here? <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. Never thought we'd meet again. And I never thought we'd meet like this. But this time, I'll end it. For her and for myself. To be continued. Dun, dun, dun. Do we want to push dun, on? Dun, dun. I can. I could, but I would need a little break. Okay, yeah, yeah we can take a quick little... break really quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let me put on the chill lo-fi beats. Um, and yeah, we'll take a quick little break and we'll be right back. See you in a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Whew. I am as well. That gave me a Hello. heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, everyone. It was so quiet. I was in you know, my peaceful place. Vibing. I uh huh. Ah, and then I come back. Ah! <laughs> Is Rand back? I'm back. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure we can continue. Overwrite that save data. I can't believe this trial still has two more parts to it. What the yeah. fuck? How? How? I don't understand. At all. Now then, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, witness? Yes, how can I help you, Mr. Judge? Well, it seems that if we're to learn the truth... We'll need to hear your testimony. I have no problem with that. But when you've seen what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. Hmm. First of all, Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> His title is Bitch, Your Honor. <laughs> Not Thank Mr. You. Judge. Thank you, Rhea. Yes. Show yeah. some respect. Show some goddamn respect. <laughs> In any case, let's hear your testimony. Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. The plan. The whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. Damn. <laughs> she would just be like my dumbass mom. <laughs> <laughs> my bitch of a mom was like so dumb. <laughs> but for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. You bitch. <gasps> you fucking bitch. Maya is not dead. So that means you are. Wait a minute. Did you just say that the plan was to kill Maya Faye? Yes. You have a problem with that. <laughs> a huge one! <laughs> Don't give us that the nonsense. Problem? There's no way that. Watch yourself, trite. got a problem solve it during cross-examination it's one of my rules <laughs> you solve all Why of your problems those? in cross-examination <laughs> believe me it'd be i'd rather just get over the stand and rain her fucking neck but this is <laughs> wow. what we're doing right now uh... <laughs> Ooh, violence oh shut up <laughs> <laughs> why don't you make me Oh, I wish I could, but I know there's someone else who'd do it better. <laughs> Mr. Godot is correct, and by the way, that's one of my rules as well. Okay, Judge. To kill Maya? <laughs> like, I'm sure there's someone better that could shut you up. Mr. Godot is correct. <laughs> <laughs> If you can't say oh, wait, wait, wait. if you can't say bitch your honor, at least say Mr. Judgy bitch. Okay. <laughs> to kill Maya? Could it be true? Mr. Bitch. <laughs> Mr. Bitch. Mr. Bitch. No, please, Daddy Bitch. Please, Mr. Bitch was my father. You can call me <laughs> bitch. <Mr. Judgy> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I I, I want to press this. You think the plan was a success? You heard me, just as that woman had hoped. My FA is dead. Incorrect. Now the title of the master will pass on to Pearl Fay. Objection! That's absurd! Maya's just... 
she's just trapped. Trapped inside the sa sacred cavern. Where can I return this? <laughs> <laughs> really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny. <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. Yeah, Iris told us. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that was actually Dahlia, I think. Wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, Dahlia told Oh, wait, no, me. yeah, Dahlia was the one who yeah. told us. That's your, sniv <laughs> your sniveling naivety and your pathetic faith in other people. Can't believe it. She meant to kill Maya. I've got to keep a cool head, and I need to get more information out of her. It's the only way to understand this plan and what she was after as well. Okay, when I think Dolly that- really just said, I don't need friends, they disappoint me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not in a cute Sundere way, she meant in like a terrifying way. You were ax <laughs> axed. You were executed last I month, was. correct? I was axed last month, yes. So what's hell like? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. Wouldn't you like to know, judgy boy? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. Oh damn, they like hanged <laughs> How <laughs> Yeah, Jesus. How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Last year, she was transferred to the state detention center as <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? What are the chances? <laughs> Honestly. One in, a, one in how many ever detention centers also, there are what did, with maximum security in Japan of 40. Yeah. yeah. Why did it take three years for them to execute her? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. However long um, um, well, I... Maybe like I mean, in I not not that this is completely accurate to like our actual legal system, but people can be on death row for years because oh, yeah. it can. turns out um, when you give the state the power to execute people, you really also want to make sure that they are executing them for a good reason uh, and that everybody's ducks are in a row. So it's a huge right. legal process. Um, people stay yeah, on death row uh, for years and years and years gotcha. and years okay. um, in the real world. Um, so the fact that it took them three years actually is probably fairly quick for someone to actually get executed. But when someone gets handed a death sentence by the judge, um, it takes they're caught up in legal hell forever um, before gotcha. the sentence okay. is actually carried out, so. Okay. Since I was on death row and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. My favorite um, season of Orange is the New Black was the one with Morgan Fay and Dahlia Hawkins. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, I would love it. I would love it. It would be so good. Holy shit. Two girl bosses. That girl boss too close to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see. So that's when you discuss the plan. The plan. <laughs> Are you crazy? At first, that woman was planning to kill me as well. Why? You were already on death row! <laughs> Even though I'm her own daughter. All to make you Pearl Fay the master of Karine? She's a cold, twisted woman. Funny that you just described yourself. <laughs> the apple doesn't far fall from the tree, does it? Uh, yeah. I said that wrong, but... <laughs> She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister, Misty... <laughs> younger sister, Misty, took her place as the master. Her younger sister? <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. I haven't... Hi, Becca. Have, hi, everyone. This is, this is my um, wonderful little uh, uh, younger sister, Becca. Aww. I almost called you Becky, but that's our stepmom, so that's... Hey, you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> are. <laughs> Thank you. Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. 
Hmm, a plan, huh? <laughs> yep. A plan, that's definitely a plan! Misty from Pokemon? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, this entire court case is about how Misty from Pokemon was killed. And it's actually Maya's mom. Pokemon? 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 Yeah, from the Pokemon. You know, the famous Pokemon. Remember, remember Misty? This is her. <laughs> <You're old yet? laughs> this is her now. No! <laughs> she has two grown daughters. Feel old yet? <laughs> <laughs> One has huge mommy milkers and is also dead. You're talking about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes, though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. Get to have high, high yeah, hopes for the living. Iris. That's correct. Unfortunately, uh, neither of us had much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her, along with our father. Jesus. Abandoned? The only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. What about your sister? Fuck her. Can tell. Yeah. Wow. My sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at that old temple. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit! Daddy, I hate my sister. Can we just, like, drop her off? Can we return her to the baby store? Sure, honey! What? God. Oh my god. That's so funny. You mean I risk? Holy shit. Literally oh. Anyway. Yes, my father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? You guys were jewelers. I don't think you Oh my god. And on top of that, my father okay. had absolutely no interest in children. In it general. does help your case no. that your father was also, like, somewhat psychopathic. Piece of shit. Yeah. Piece of shit. How horrible. Yeah, you can say that again. The really horrible one was that woman. That bitter, vengeful woman. It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child. Pearl Fay. <laughs> Are we playing that Pearl was immaculately conceived? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wouldn't put it past Morgan to deny that. <laughs> Did Morgan make a deal with the devil to, <laughs> to give birth to Pearl? I'm the next, I'm the next prophet. Um, Holy <laughs> shit. Uh huh. I can uh, believe it. Wizard from Light. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, sure, honey, that's what your mom tells you. Wait, but... I missed the message from Rhea. Kate, you said one is huge mommy milkers and then said Pearl Faye, right? And I spit. No! <laughs> Not <laughs> pearls! No! We, we don't remember those times. I'm, we I'm don't. I'm to seek it for defamation. Um... <laughs> I will say, spoiler alert, we do get to see... I don't actually remember if she's 18 in the final game. She might be, actually. It's been like... Actually, she might she's be like 18. Uh, she has a slightly less big forehead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but she still... She still looks extremely young. Much younger than her age. But she does like grow up a little bit. She's just one of those people who's cursed with looks like a baby. Baby face. She has baby yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah, and she's like four foot ten or whatever, and <laughs> like fucking rip. Uh she, I didn't. She was born oh. with a, a, a large, a large abundance of spiritual power. Unfortunately for her, Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams onto that poor child's back. All because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. You're right, Rhea. She is the prophet because she has achieved the feminine urge to grasp forever youth. <laughs> <laughs> this is just proof. This is further proof. Maya would have to die, but why? Uh, Phoenix, have you been we listening at all? Why. We know why. Horrible. For our bloodline to succeed as the main family, thus making Pearl the new master. 
the remaining descendants of the current master had to be taken care of. Objection! But Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. Oh. That's ridiculous! She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her daughter. It's naturally the life of Maya Fey as well. How could anyone do that? A huge bitch could. Yep. Hold it! You? You were going to kill Maya? Earl didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead, and there's nothing any of you can do to me. So the plan was to blame the crime on your younger twin. And Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. He and I look absolutely identical. No one can tell us apart. If someone were to witness me killing Maya, naturally, they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was the head nun, Sister Bikini. I do want to state that Dahlia's hair is red, usually. Yeah! <laughs> so they do, they do look just... different. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> always assumed that she died. Her. It. Is that okay? okay. Is that oh, yeah, like she... But is that is that canon <laughs> that she I dyes her hair red? <laughs> Wait, but guys, like, isn't it like a quote unquote canon thing that when they channel, they kind of take on the appearance of the other person? And so oh, yeah, when not... Iris takes yeah. when Iris is channeling Dahlia, she quote unquote takes on the appearance, but her hair stays the same so therefore there is yeah. a difference in the body yeah, anyway. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm just saying whenever whenever Dahlia is saying we were identical I'm like well I mean your hair was red and hers was black so <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, it, it is like, weird like, the, when they were alive <laughs> the rules for channeling are super weird in that like <laughs> the hair and skin color stay the same and I think even like the eye color but the body physically changes um, weird. there's a really weird moment about this in the final game, <laughs> um, Yay. which I can't wait for everyone to see, so, <laughs> Spirit of Justice, let's fucking go! <laughs> I, I never would have guessed, oh my god, I'm Kate, sorry! I never would have guessed you would have come up to Hazakura Temple, but she wound up seeing Iris's crime anyway. But why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? She's your twin sister, isn't she? We've already established she hates okay. everyone. <clears throat> twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less oh. about her. Backstabber? Been through this. You just don't understand. You never will. Anyway, I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Fay's plan? I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. It had no it had no point, no value other than fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand it, being the kind and gentle soul that you are. You may not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me, why? Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was for myself. 
for my own personal satisfaction. What did you say? So this woman, Dahlia Hawthorne, she had her own reason for wanting Maya dead. Oh, revenge. Against, yeah, against Mia, probably. Against Mia. Against Mia. Was the one who got her put behind bars. Yeah. Obviously, it's because you were helping Morgan Fay. Helping? Don't make me laugh. Again. From the day I was born to the day I died, I never helped anyone. I lived for myself, and in the end, I died for myself. I thought that was obvious. So she wasn't actually cooperating with Morgan. She was just using Morgan and her plans so she could accomplish her own goal. All I wanted to do was kill Maya Fey. That was the only way I could think of to get revenge. Revenge? Looks like I have no choice to present that piece of evidence. I can't believe it! She meant to kill Maya! Oh wait, this is the uh, loop text. Yep, uh, let's present Mia's profile. Because you are a cold, stone-cold bitch. Yeah. Could it be that your actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Faye herself? As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. Because I'm already dead. Well, I had the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead, and you can't take revenge against them either. You, you wanted to take revenge on someone? I was sentenced to die because of that woman. Mia Fey. I somehow knew this was it. I mean, that is why I presented Mia's profile on this, but okay. <laughs> I wanted to send her a message. It was at her hands that I suffered my first humiliation. And last. I wanted her to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up. The reason it was impossible. Is it perhaps because Mia Fey had already died? Yes, and I realized there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. And how do you do that? Even when the body ties, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. I'm glad that in this court case we captured the secret of the afterlife. Yep. I wanted to take away the person that Mia Fey loved most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be the only, the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fey. That was the reason I helped out with that woman's plans. Just for that? For that you would kill Maya? Your goal was no different than that of Morgan Fay. As they say, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay, we you just said that. Yeah, we already said yeah, that. We, we've been bitch here on her. A wise man once said. <laughs> <laughs> was Mr. Judge. Judge. <laughs> <laughs> what a Mr. cruel bitch. plan. His name was Mr. Bitch. <laughs> Mr. Judgy Bitch. What a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I've already told you, there's not a thing you can do to me. Uh, so there is. <laughs> that night... At about 9.30 p.m., I materialized into this world. Same. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warding hood. Then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. Hello? Hello? So, it was Elise Donim who channeled her after all. Okay, that I kind of figured because... Pearls couldn't do it. She tried and tried and tried, but she couldn't. Um, and at least read the letter. 
That ridiculous head nun never noticed a thing. She left Maiafe at the inner temple and wobbled back, clutching her poor old back. What did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I had gotten from the storeroom and... So then you... You're saying you... Stabbed Maya! It's strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory. I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed? At the last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me. I'm sure of it. Objection! Objection. That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. Okay, she would do that. That's a lie. Hi, Violet. You've come at a very intense time. <laughs> anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I can't believe she was thinking of that until the bitter end. That's where my memory temporarily stops. It... it stops? I don't have any memory of actually killing Maya Faye with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Maya's terror-filled eyes. <laughs> Damn. When I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern? The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow, I had been trapped in there. How did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya Faye was dead. And I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I had killed her myself. <sighs> For a ghost, you're one tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. Bricklock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying... You were actually confined against your will inside the sacred cavern? Yes. I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? It was early in the morning, but someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Could it have been Maya? Thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gone into the training hall. Maya and Pearls. Pearls went there to cover the hanging scroll and gravy. <laughs> oh, I'm, Pearls. I'm, like, I'm Pearls. suddenly remembering, like, all the details. And yeah. <laughs> it's I, like, like, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling with some of it, but um, I do... I do know one thing about why she was in the sacred cavern. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I, I remember that plot detail. I'm a little fuzzy on some of the exact details for some stuff, but I remember the general outline of, like, what's going on. Yeah. Still, I finally managed to remove the lock. 
But I was too late. What do you mean by that? The file the flies had already started to gather. Bridge had been fixed in the sorry. <laughs> the bridge had been fixed and the police had started their investigation, correct? Uh, Violet, can I spoil the cat later because we're on a roll right now and I don't want to interrupt it. <laughs> but thank you for redeeming that. I will be sure to spoil her with a treat in a little bit. Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned Thanks. to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse as I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris. She said she'd come to make sure the sacred cavern was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cavern and got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in, in my place. I had finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. I don't think it did, bitch. What do you mean your plan had succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me. I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But I was wrong. The person that had accident actually called my spirit back was... Misty Fay, The picture book, Arthur. Wh what Well, that's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden. It was her body that was left lying there. Maya Fey. I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human can commit. Oh my god! No. <laughs> and that is... Matricide. The sin of killing her own mother. Is that the most <laughs> vile? I don't... But that, oh that is God. fucked up. But also, I don't know. This hierarchy is weird. I, I would just say murder in general is pretty fucked up. But matricide I mean, like, specifically? No way! I, like I mean, I guess, I guess in like their, like... Uh, uh, in like the f f Kurain tradition thing where like... Mm. Um, uh, what what what's that matriarch, like like yeah. the matriarch <laughs> thing? Like I don't know. That's fair. Well, something, and something like that. Something something matriarch fucking... something something. <laughs> like, it's dark to kill your own mom. I mean, well, yes, and, and especially of it being like the the psychological thing of like you don't know that you're doing that and like yeah. you don't know that you could be reuniting with your mom right now. Yeah. Like that's yeah. So and, like, that is you fucked. You don't know what you've done until after the fact. Dead and her body yeah. changes. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of fucked up. That is pretty fucked. <laughs> Maya, Maya, but I don't believe it. I think there's a different explanation here. Order. Yeah, I do. Order in the court. What's the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> You're sorry, Becca. Continue. <laughs> no, no. I was just like, I do remember stuff. Is all I was just going to say. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Uh, it it's true that I was the one who attacked my FA. But even so, the murderer who actually snuffed out Misty Face's life was none other than your darling little Maya. It wasn't though. Ridiculous! That's nonsense! Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> <It's> just... 
You just think about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna see the net. <laughs> New challenge. Uh, Everybody talks like one of those, uh, uh, like Pets Cop explained uh, YouTube videos. There's even <laughs> evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? <laughs> uh, there's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> what is this so called evidence? The fact that Maya Fey has disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Huh? The idea that she's still in the sacred cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the inter inner temple, that much is obvious. In any case, in that case, there is only one place she could be. <laughs> Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> mm. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's like a, a meme of like one of those videos. It's this guy. Oh, right. <laughs> no, saying, number like, 15. Like, you know, Burger King yes. foot lettuce. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly how he says it. I would love to know the origin. Like, I don't even know what channel it is that started that meme, but. <laughs> it's chills. Chills? Yeah, it's. And it was just like a top 20 craziest things on the internet or something. But oh, then okay. People were like <laughs> <laughs> top 20. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. Craziest <laughs> things on the internet. Chills. Oh, please, can we continue? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just looking it up for uh, later. <laughs> I have heard that tone of voice before comes back to me vividly. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River. Where else? E Eagle River? Maya killed her long-lost mother. Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself into the Eagle River. Most bodies that wind up there in there are lost forever. Then who are you inhabiting, bitch? Yeah, yeah who who in fact is channeling you right now? Yeah, I wonder. Because it's not pearls. <laughs> so what do you have to say now, Feeny? Uh... Hello? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, but not sorry because I interrupted your little terrain. That's my phone. What kind of ringtone is that? <laughs> it's better than yours. Doe <laughs> here. Okay. Thanks. W was it something important? We just finished removing the locks from the sacred cavern. That's great! What about Maya? There was a woman in the cave. Was it Maya Faye? Was the accused sister the curse? Of Iris. <laughs> the accused. Huh? I don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. Don't you pay uh, attention? I'm surprised that you told us the truth, is all. So, what about That's Maya? Bad. Where is she? No, it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No, you're a dumbass. No. No! Aww. Oh, <laughs> he loves his sister so much. He does. It seems that this case has come to an end. A tragic end. Well, it literally has not. We have one more part to go, buddy. <laughs> Sadly, it appears that the killer of Elise Donim, also known as Misty Fay, 
was her own daughter, Maya Faye. Overcome with guilt for what she had done, Maya Faye jumped to her death in the raging waters of the Eagle River. Can't be. Right. Have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. What? What? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got it from my book of riddles for teens. <laughs> Guys, she always had better riddles than I did, according to this witness. Maya Fay threw herself into the Eagle River. However, is that really the truth? <laughs> Remember, this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire. The murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya had thrown herself into the river, it must have been from the inner temple side, near the bridge. That's right. That's where she jumped from. Oh no. No, you don't get to talk anymore right now. But that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into the river from there. What? Don't get your panties all twisted up trite. Stop thinking about my panties. Oh my god, we've been through this already. God, I just <laughs> announced my engagement <laughs> earlier. Okay, again. We're trying to figure out if you're- Stay on topic, Mr. Godot, dead. come on! I am trying to lead you to a situation here. Just follow my bread. Okay? Oh, oh my god! Stop trying to- You're trying to lead me on? Jesus! We're here to have a- have a- To be in a court case! Christ! Get on with it, Godot! I need my coffee again. I, I'm oh. so chamomile tea. I can't deal with this anymore. Just- Just relax while I relax. And th think through the whole thing again. Please. I, I'm not relaxing while you're around. Jeez. I'm gonna go to the so it's impossible. side. We have a Keurig. I'm going to use the Keurig. You think about your things. Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Eagle River. Well, Mr. Wright? Ms. Hawthorne claims Miss Faye threw herself into the river from the Inner Temple side. Do you have any evidence that refutes this claim? I do. Yes, fact, I think it's... Do. Yeah, this one. Or is this... Is this exactly what we want? Yeah, it is. It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Tinner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped into the very same river. Yes. <laughs> Just take a look at this overhead map! Every time I do it, it Lord, makes I hate me laugh. It when you well, I hate it when you are you, so we're even. As you can see, <laughs> below the cliff on the inner temple side is a big rock shelf. Oh, oh, you're right. She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. Unless she In had other a words, long horizontal jump, leap. Yeah, whatever. she was not the most athletic. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. I, not that photo in particular, but definitely we would be able to see her body and someone probably would have noticed. Back. <laughs> so you finally figured it out. You, no. Yes. Oh yes. Order, order. You, 
You're just playing with me. My face body is at the bottom of the Eagle River. There's nowhere else you could possibly be hiding. Ms. Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? <laughs> Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Yeah, like yes, I just <laughs> 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 That's despite the point. Maya Faye wasn't inside the sacred cavern. We know now that she didn't throw herself into the Eagle River. Oh, I accidentally clicked out of the window. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. Wh what? What is this one possibility you're talking about? This very courtroom. <laughs> That's obviously a bluff. So her where's her dead body then? Uh uh I don't it's not dead. Finally, I think the pieces are falling into place. Normally the living have no way to punish the dead. But I think there is a way to give Dahlia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Ms. Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya Fey is this very instant? Maya Fey mm -hmm. is in this very courtroom. Mm -hmm. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? Maya you, Faye's You here? say she's here? In my courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> Maya <laughs> Fey oh, no, in my so courtroom? Nuts. It's more likely than you <laughs> it's think. It's more likely than you think. <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> I seem to recall that you said I had misunderstood one thing you see. A what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood, dumbass. What do you mean? Excuse me, bitch ass poser. Tell me something. <laughs> At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia no. Hawthorne? Why that that's obvious. It's Pearl Fay. That pathetic little sniveling runt. Mm -mm -mm. You're wrong. Pearl's tried, but she couldn't do it. Oh my god, a Ren line. Wow. <laughs> wow. I like have been summoned. <laughs> I've, I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there any explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime. But she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right about now, am I correct? Yeah, bitch. Ah. <laughs> it wasn't pearls that channeled you. I love how your mic does not pick up your big screams, so you have to go like. No, I mean, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like every time I do that ah thing, it doesn't pick it up, so I have to go like ah. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. Like that one peanut butter baby from Vine. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you like that? Feel good? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Pearls that channeled you. There was someone who called you before she could. And that person was Maya Fey! This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Misty Fey is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already. I can't stand the tension. You dumbass old man. I've spelled it out for you. Thing. Dahlia Hawthorne! The person it's channeling the person you right me. now must be Maya Fey. Wh what? Mm hmm. But, but how could that be? Remember what this witness, Dahlia Hawthorne, said about her goal? She said that her goal was to kill Maya Fey. Yeah, that's right. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her... It's smart. <laughs> well, Gramps, what would happen? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna base boost Rand 
I don't know why Rand hasn't been base boosted, but... Okay. There we go. You were just a little quiet. Okay. Could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Bitch Your Honor. Well, I don't. What are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the real reason Maya channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. Who? Protect herself? From me? And who wouldn't? Yes. On the night of the crime, you were in only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Faye. That's so big-brained of Maya. Like, kudos to her. Yeah. I love her. So smart. The paths back to Hazakura was closed off and there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became... Where would be the safest place to hide? In plain sight! Uh, uh, you mean... That's when she channeled me? All this time, you thought you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you. That Maya's hiding place was you. No, no, no! Don't say that! Oh, she's becoming unhinged! <laughs> You're saying that I... Talia Hawthorne was played for a fool by oh, that yeah. little whelp? Listen, if you literally thought about it for more than two oh, yeah. seconds, you would have come to this conclusion, bitch. <laughs> well, I mean, she hasn't, she, hasn't, she hasn't seen Pearl, so I... Oh, uh, that's true, I guess. Yeah, um, so she made the assumption. Yeah. Yeah. You know Why if they killed herself? Isn't it obvious? It really is not. I have yet to see a body. Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. I love how they've fixated on this as the only way to kill oneself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, admittedly, they, pr they would have found her body at some point in any way. Like, Possibly. She, I, I feel like it's a, a different way. I feel like it's a large area over there. I know it's like but they, cordoned off by the mountain, they, but... Were, weren't they like scour scouring the place though? I guess you they know? were, like, yeah. Because they were trying, they were trying to find Maya. Yeah. And they were like, we have scoured, like Godot himself even said that we have searched this oh. entire place and we have not found Maya. Yeah, so, the only uh, place we haven't looked is the sacred be. cavern. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was the only avenue of of escape open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the inner temple. I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who has never been in, out in the real world. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? Well... I forgot! Mia! M oh, Mia! <laughs> Mia Faye. It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh, I'm so go. sorry, Becca. <laughs> Talking back and forth. She really oh, has such go. big booba. <laughs> oh, I miss those sweet mommy milkers. <laughs> so it's true. It's you. Yes. <laughs> Something else. But, but what? What are you doing here? That hair. It's pearls, right? Let, who else could it but, be? Yeah, you? literally. <laughs> Tell me if something. you haven't played the second game again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God. Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to that night one more time. You had just cornered Maya in the inner temple's garden. And then, in that, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed by Mia, Maya Fey. <laughs> Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She, she did? Not terribly surprising since she was about to be killed. I would also faint. <laughs> When she woke up, she was in the training hall. 
That's when Maya decided she needed help. So she channeled me. She explained in a memo the situation that she was in. Where did the memo go? <laughs> she asked- you have storage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a check the drawers? <laughs> Well, okay, I'm assuming- I'm assuming she's about to say I told her to burn it after reading in case Dahlia found it and realized what was going on. Yeah, That's probably. Yeah. Burn she after reading. What, she should, yeah, what she should do. Oh, well, and Mia probably would have burned it when- when she wrote her yeah. response. Yeah. She did that? I can't believe it. Of course, I didn't have all the details. But... One thing was perfectly clear. And that was... I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It's pretty obvious. It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel, channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible. And to lock herself in the southern sacred cavern until the help southern arrived. Cavern. <laughs> the hey southern cavern. Hi y'all. So it was Maya who put that lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? Out of order too. <gasps> Rhea. If she done it. Oh, what do you realize, Rhea? Go ahead. Oh wait, I you already said it. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. Pearls! By one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Yes. Pearl didn't properly understand the plan. So all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Morgan Fay's instruction. If she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. <laughs> Rhea! Uh, Harold, you're you implied Pearls was the one with the big mommy milkers, and now she is! I mean, I was not yeah. implying that to begin with, but I like, I like your thinking, Rhea. <laughs> oh my god. Alia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay. Kill Maya at all costs. Yes, it certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you! I, I won't forget this! Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure, you big fat stinky loser! Yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? Damn. <laughs> what do you mean by another? I meant to say I thought you employed, but I'm drunk and bad at formulating thoughts. Fair. Me too, <laughs> bitch. The fuck? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. You what? dummy. How dare you? I'm only talking straight facts here. Eleven years ago... The fake kidnapping? Your very first crime? You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. At your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid oaf of a prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman. And then, one year later, you tried to kill me. Yes. Well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else. As a result, you were sentenced to death. He escaped and didn't change. How did he not immediately get caught? Listen. He's not operating on all cylinders. It's one stupid move after another for you. But it's no longer funny. 
<laughs> Dear Diary, my teenage angst bullshit now has a body count. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she watched heathers and came away with a vastly different message than the rest of us yeah. <laughs> she's like oh yeah cool she was like jd had the right idea actually <laughs> she was like what's wrong i like it yeah i don't understand <laughs> why what, am... <laughs> what can i say yeah <laughs> you wipe that smug happy-go-lucky smile off your face i love how these flashbacks also look like they were a hundred years ago canonically it was a couple <laughs> years ago yeah i don't know why they're doing the full like sepia tone like damaged film reel shit <laughs> and now this you've messed up again you let maya faye escape even though she was right there in front of you <laughs> What are these noises? I don't know. She's reverting to Mia. monkey brain. <laughs> Mia Faye? Mia Faye? Mia Faye? You, you spinster. <laughs> what is that insult? That's you dumb you lesbian! <laughs> I was supposed to kill Mia Faye like I swore I would. And if only you had... Oh, and if only you had gotten the spiky hair choke the guilty verdict. I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. <laughs> yes. Yep. But I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat <laughs> death for what? <laughs> what? What did you say? Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all of eternity. <laughs> Those are strong Damn. fucking words, and I love her. <sighs> I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you, because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape. We've from. manufactured hell for you! <laughs> yes. For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. The defense Damn. team said bully Dahlia hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> kick her way to beat a dead crazy. horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The entire court hates your pussy. I so much. It's so <laughs> rancid. <sighs> and for you, there is no escape from that. No hope of freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you has burnt to a crisp. Wow. <laughs> Damn. You... <laughs> You're wrong. It... It can't be. How could I lose to the likes of you? It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want... Is for you to come out of bodies. My, uh, okay, can we get a redo on that? Yeah. The only thing I want oh. is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. Believe. Be gone. Thought. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. It's not don't gonna even. Work. Don't even. <laughs> There's no way we can fix it Whoa. in post. Oh my god. <laughs> There she oh. fucking- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, this is suddenly a horror shit. movie! <laughs> the fires of hell. Right? Ooh. Holy What the hell? <laughs> being exercised. <laughs> right? She is such a good villain. She is. She I was. love her. The court hates her like, pussy, but I love evil. her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love Maya! a girl boss. Maya. Maya. 
So we'd see without a top knot. Hey, yeah. Lever! Nick. Sis. Oh! Oh! oh David drew her on the ground! <laughs> Nobody moved. Pick her up! Pick her up! Tuck her in! Her for like two days now or something. <laughs> yeah. She's had a rough one. I assume you are the real Iris. Yes, I was just rescued from the sacred cavern. I must say, you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. It's almost like you're the same, we're the same sprite. <laughs> it's, it's true! In any case, it appears that everything <laughs> has finally been cleared up. Has it though? Mr. Godot. What happened to Dolly off? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she burned into the fires of hell. She, yeah, she just, she's burning right now. If you ask me, bitch, Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> oh my like God. She went wow. back to the hell she came from. Hmm. It seems that Misty Faye wasn't the only victim of this crime. I'm just imagining the stenographer just like, oh my, sh how do I fucking describe <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? this? <laughs> okay, like, what's with what, Gado's <laughs> wacky <laughs> eyepiece? Just, just quits. <laughs> Rhea, it's actually just... not done. There's a third part to this case. Yeah. We have not solved all the mysteries. But I think let's just continue for now. <laughs> but mm. We haven't gotten to the to be continued, so. Yeah. Wait, did you My already fan. say this line? Oh. <laughs> as well as the young Pearl Fay, We're also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Yes, bitch, your honor. The tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. About that. It would be best for everyone if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. Um, bitch, your honor? Yeah, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the concept now. It took me like a good long while. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. That's why I made a concerted effort to study up on the Quran channeling technique. Well, look at that! Hey, isn't that the New Year's Eve show of O Cult? Also, I saw that I... beautiful woman on the cover, and I had to look. The woman oh. on the left. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Aww. laughs> I've seen quite a few things in my in my many years on the bench, and in all that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different and takes place in its own world, if you will. In order to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where my brother and I used to differ. Used to differ. Hmm. Never thought of it that way. At any rate, it's time to pass judgment in the case of Iris of Hazakuta Temple. Objection! Objection. You're a little too fast with that gavel, bitch, Your Honor. Uh, what do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this trial, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Right. Remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony? Huh? Dolly's testimony? I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the jacket that I got from the storeroom and... Strange, but... I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think... I think I was stabbed. Just as Dahlia Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. Y yes that's right. The person that was ultimately killed was the spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. 
Face to Noom. No. Steve Fay. But who killed her? We still don't know who did it. It's true. This isn't over! Yeah, me too, Phoenix. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, you would think after being away <gasps> from the spirit sending it back to hell. Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. Can't let her walk until there is evidence that proves her innocence. No way. But this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. Prosecution is ready to call our final witness. Oh? Ooh. Is it Maya? F final witness? Oh. This one will clear up the whole mystery. Oh no, see, Rhea, in this court system, you were guilty until proven innocent. I don't know why. Yeah. Also, the burden of uh, proof is on the defense for some reason, so it's all topsy-turvy. The mystery of who killed Misty Faye. Hmm, indeed. <laughs> is it really all right, Mr. Prosecutor? Of course it's all right, Madame Attorney. Uh, is, is there something going on here? Like, am I in the middle of a- Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no! I will never shut up! <laughs> Make <Hey>, me! <laughs> who is this final witness? <gasps> I know who the final witness is. It's her! <laughs> It's a squirrel. Oh, okay. It's a squirrel. Oh, oh, well, I'll wait until. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Maya. There's one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. S someone who saw the murder take place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her own eyes. You- you mean Maya? You can't! She can't testify after what she's been through. Need to find the truth. Prosecution calls Maya Fay to the witness stand. Dun dun dun. Is she in any condition? <laughs> Very yeah, well. she literally passed out, so like... Her condition is unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First, we'll take a brief recess to get the witness to regain consciousness. <laughs> we'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover. Yeah. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Hey, try. Got something to say to you, so listen up. If you're gonna call me a bitch boy again, um, I bitch. don't want to hear it. <laughs> what is it? No, fucking listen. I don't think much of you as a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> it's always the same with you. Uh-huh. You somehow manage to just squeak by without even a faint understanding of the case. I don't think you're in a position to make that call, but okay. Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in at the last minute to save you. You've wrong. got some nerve. <laughs> you're not wrong, though. Am I? Yeah, I'm not wrong. <laughs> but it's not going to happen this time. This time... You're going to have to do this by yourself. Okay. That's enough. This court is now in recess. This bitch, I need to break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Iris. Oh. Her. I'm truly sorry about everything. You were working so hard to defend me. But I was missing all day, and we ha didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. 
When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places, and Iris was inside the sacred cavern. I wonder why Iris didn't call for help, though. You know? She that is a good out. question. I wanted to at least be in the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole time. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the Sacred Cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. Oh. <laughs> uh... My sister. I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by her mother and never got any love from her father either. Yes, but it was the same for you too, wasn't it? Yes, but at least I had Sister Bikini, who was like a mother to me. Aww. If only Dahlia had come with me to Hazakura Temple. Oh, uh, she sent. So nice. She sent you there, bitch. But maybe that was the best thing she could have <laughs> done for you. Yeah. I always, I always loved her. Aww. Dahlia was always so smart, so strong. She never complained about a thing. That's why I... That's why I promised her that I would help her. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes. I, I wanted to be useful to her in some way. But, as usual... I was too cowardly. At the last minute, I ran away. Because of that. Dahlia's stepsister, Valerie, ended up... That was the case that wounded Mia so badly. But... Things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people? You must mean... Yes, two defense attorneys. Mia Fey and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, who was, started, who was getting too close to learning the truth, Dahlia even tried to kill the person who had unknowingly hid the poison for her. You. That's right. Iris, there's one more thing I have to ask you. Yes, what is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Elise Donim, was it... was it really you? Yes, it was me. That night, after I rang the lights out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. I... I got on the snowmobile and headed for the inner temple. But... The path to the inner temple was cut off, right? Exactly. Can't just leave the body here. So you've got to do this exactly as I say. Got it. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, no. It was me. I was the one that received her body. <laughs> Keep oh, flying at Iris. <laughs> oh, poor Iris. God. <laughs> Can you imagine? I yeah. literally know. The murder weapon had been left in her body so she wouldn't bleed too much. Oh, Jesus. okay. Oh, well, Jesus. God. Um, oh wait, do y'all say either or either? I say both interchangeably. 
yes. Yeah. And guys, look, yeah. that's what the murder weapon is. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd say I'd say either or, but like I would say either this or that kind yeah. of, you know? <laughs> Depends on what I'm talking about. Exactly. Yeah. The staff that Mystic Elise always held. I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was the staff. Yes, that's right. I brought the body back to Hazakura Temple on the snowmobile. But why... why did you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was a mur the murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Misty Fay. Mm. So I dressed her in a robe and stabbed her with the Shichi Shito. I wiped the blood off the blades, the staff's blade, and left it next to her on the ground. Iris, just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called your cell phone. The real killer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say who did it. I literally don't understand why, but okay. <laughs> Defendant! Y yes The judge is calling you! He wants to see you in his chambers! I don't want to go in his chambers. Oh, I'll be there too, I guess. Okay. Uh, he has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'll see you later. Space Cowboy. <laughs> Something <I'm... laughs> I'll see you later, Space Cowboy. There's something I want to tell you. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Something she wants to tell me? Oh my god, am I gonna have to let this girl down because I'm engaged now? I know you're engaged. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's true. Iris cooperated with the real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. She. There she. There she is! Mia! Um, how is Maya doing? Basically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely. But emotionally, she's been hurt very badly by this Aww. case. Uh, I see. You don't mean she's learned who Elise Donim really was? Yes. I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. But why? Maya is stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure that answer out by yourself. The trial is about to restart. The real killer. Do you know who it is yet? I mean, I know who it is, but... Yes. Iris... <laughs> Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still. I think that just maybe I know who it was. That night... The victim was killed in the Garden of the Inner Temple. The criminal wasn't just there by accident. Which means... That the killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. That's one more thing. The victim was moved to the Hasakura Temple side by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means they were stuck on the Inner Temple side for almost an entire day. Yep. It was pearls. <laughs> no! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh God! Don't say it like I that, pearls. Go. You're nice. <sighs> uh, you got. I have to be convincing about it. Oh Jesus! No, you don't, pearls. They're gonna send you to jail. Hold on. Oh, maybe I right. This uh. And this what would they kinda... do, pearls? Sorry, okay. What would they do? Nothing. Get <laughs> oh, no. oh Lord! No. Her, 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 the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Jesus Christ! So the culprit was someone that wasn't in Hazakura Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of the battle is yours to win or lose. Okay, I've got it. Thank you, Mia. Finally. It's almost time to bring this case to an end. Finally! 
What exactly <laughs> did Maya see, anyway? And who was it who actually killed Misty Fay? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me. All by myself. Oh, by myself. myself. I'm gonna be a... I would love to save my progress, thank you. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, we've almost... <laughs> this long-ass case. Um... Uh, cast, how are we feeling? I feel good and would be fine pushing on, but it has been a long session. Same. I hey. think I'll have to dip. Okay. Yeah, uh, I... I still have a conclusion to oh, write. Oh, true. You still have a paper to write, too. And shit. Revise by the end of tomorrow, so I should probably head. To yeah. I was really hoping that we would be able to finish it when, like, everybody was here. Well, who all is gone Sorry. next week? Not me. I Not me, try... either. I can try to get on. I don't think we have any. I'll just ask my parents about it like the situation mm. might just have to find a table outside somewhere <laughs> you guys will hear the birds or something <laughs> that'll be Aww. nice ambiance okay we can yeah. try and finish it up next week then yeah, we'll see okay cool all right sounds good well uh thank you everybody for a wonderful yeah. uh, evening, I'm glad we got through so much of it because we're we're on the yes. we're on the downhill slope now. Like we did, it's well. easy I peasy from Dahlia here. Hathor gets sent to super hell. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Violet. <laughs> oh right, uh, oh the baby. I need to spoil the cat. I need to spoil the baby, well. and then we can end. Well. Hey, lady. A little lady. You're a stinky baby. Stinky baby. You, smell you smell so bad. So bad. You, smell you smell like tuna and very stinky poops. <laughs> you're a stinky you're baby. A stinky baby, yeah. Yeah, you're a stinky baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> a little lady. A little light eye. <laughs> little light eye. Here's the little lady. Here we go. Precious baby. Yeah? Yeah. You know what I got for you? <gasps> yes, you do. <gasps> hey. Dingus. Precious. It's over here. Hey. Meow. Turn around. Dumbass. Aww. Here. It's from a TikTok, hey. Kriya. There's this, uh... Hang on, I'm yeah. gonna I truly love your backdrop. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so glad. Max okay. speaks facts. You can, you can grab it. There we go. She dropped it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> well, uh, that's the end of... <laughs> we put yeah. her on the ground it's so the, she uh, can the, eat the, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she is baby. so cute. Oh, thank you, Ren, for linking that. Um, she's you. such a dummy. She's such a dummy. Anyway. Yes. Thank you, Violet, for spoiling the baby. We all appreciate it. Um. Tapestry is beautiful. Love the bookshelf. Yellow pillow. Blue sky is very good. I'm so glad. I like it, too. Doesn't look so cozy here. Just want to sit on the couch and come join me. And play a video game. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much, everybody. Um, I'm glad we were able to push through most of the case. Like I said, next time, it'll be like... We, we can really take our time with it, because I don't remember how long it is, but I don't think it's like terribly long, either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you we'll are on the on couch. Track, but we won't have to worry too much. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, good job, all of us. We did stay on track for a good majority of that. Like, oh, kudos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did way better than we normally do. Unhinged energy out at the beginning. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we still kept the unhinged energy, right? We were just also pushing forward with a forward momentum. Was, we kept it, it up. Was dignified, feral. Yeah. Yes, dignified. Mm -hmm. feral. We let 
we let Dahlia um, expose it to us for a really long time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's the and thing about this. Excellent expository and performance. Yeah. And, like, that Thank entire you. second section Very is just good. mostly Dahlia being like, let me tell you my evil villain plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, like, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> she Thank she is, a, for, she is a force that cannot be stopped, especially with uh, <laughs> Becca at the helm. Dignified <laughs> feral is perfect, yes. Uh, Play, yeah, playing Dolly is like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, she's she is a really fun villain. I I agree, Max. She's like, I think one of the best villains. Um, yeah, she's great. I love her. I mean, I hate her, but I love her. Yeah, you know? I love to I hate her and her. I hate and to love, love her. her. But I hate Girl her. boss that flew too far uh, to yeah. close to the sun. <laughs> truly, yeah. truly, she did. Anyway, um, I. We'll be back next Wednesday um, with Harvest Moon and then Fire Emblem on Thursday. Um, and then we'll do uh, Legally Bold one more time on Friday. Uh, and then I will be gone for a week uh, because of the holidays. So I hope you will have a holiday. Uh, happy holidays. Um, and then... I'll see you all in the last week of December. Um, and at that time, we can kick off the new year with mm -hmm. fucking Apollo Justice. Apollo Justice. Actually, yeah. wait, hold on. Will it actually? Oh my god. That. I just remember that New Year's Eve is uh, that <laughs> Friday. <laughs> It was meant to be. It was fucking meant to be. Here's the question, though. Oh. Do we all have plans for New Year's Eve? Um, because I don't. Like... All my friends abandoned me uh, in uh, my that's city. The first, uh, that's the first of January for me, so. Oh, true. Are you... Oh, okay. You don't? Oh, my God. Rand? Um, I don't believe I have any plans. If not, it's... It's fine. I... I don't have any plans that I know of. I'm not getting get, getting together with anyone. It'll just be with my parents, probably. Oh my fucking god. We could oh. do an Apollo Justice New yeah. Year's Eve stream. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it really Fuck. sucks a Friday. I have, I have Fridays off from work uh, because of n n Legally Bald, so, like, uh... Oh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have... <laughs> Guys, this is so perfect now. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Apollo Justice 2K22. Uh, oh this is, <laughs> this is so the... wonderful. What a way to ring in best the new year. Of next year is this the best way to start it. I'm I, see, on. I was <laughs> already planning. Because we could all drunk, drink. Yeah. yeah. We can all. We should, we should get a, get a, get a get a, is there like a, an Apollo Justice drinking game? <laughs> <laughs> Probably I can make one. I I like I already know at least the first case. I will do it. I because I was already planning on streaming for most of the day since I was gonna be alone anyway. I was like, might as well celebrate and just like play some video games all day um, until like the midnight countdown and share that live too. Drink every time someone says panty. Becca, that's the second case. Come now. Oh, dang. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> we love a tipsy New Year's Eve stream. Exactly. It'll be so much fun. Um, I might stream, like, earlier on in the day, which you guys don't necessarily have to be around for, but we'll definitely do Legally Bald that day. Um, Yay. We can figure yeah, out the I'll details later, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I start <laughs> streaming at Ren, noon, if I start streaming at noon, Ren is definitely asleep, and I will not want to wake her, but... <laughs> uh, we can all, we can all, uh, I can switch years to Legally Bald during the stream, so. Love spending holidays with my friends, me too! This is the yeah, best kind me. of holiday! Yes. I'm excited. Anyway, yeah. Alright. Thank you again, everybody. I am crashing. Good night, everybody! <laughs> Have a great Good night. night. Have a great weekend. I'll see y'all later. Beautiful. Bye!